It's Wednesday, and it's time to get a little wacky. It's Wacky Wednesday with Bumper Gomez. You never know what you're going to get from this former U.S. Marine that has a passion for the Honol culture and gets you up close and personal with your favorite the Honol stars and so much more unfiltered. Wacky Wednesday with Bumper Gomez starts now. There we go. No, nobody can hear us. Are you sure? Nobody can hear us? No, they can't. <laughs> I just got to get this right. I'm being a rookie right now. <laughs> there it nervous. is. <laughs> there it is. There it is right there. I'm making you nervous. You are making me, you are making me nervous. Good evening and welcome to another edition of Bumper's Wacky Wednesday. Um... But it's Tuesday. I know if you if your trash comes out on Wednesdays, I mean on on Thursdays, don't put your trash out tomorrow. Today's only Tuesday, because I'll get all the text messages and all that. Like, man, you threw me you off. Threw <laughs> you threw me off with having the show on a on a on a Tuesday. So, um, you know, if if you base your week off the show, well, today's Tuesday. I want to remind you once again. Um, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I know it's a Tuesday. It's not a Wednesday, and. Um, we, the, my special guest tonight, this, this beautiful lady, I, I got to hang out with her uh, yesterday for, for quite some time on, a, on, another, uh, on another podcast on uh, Rebecca Valadez's and uh, Gibby's The Hano Roundtable, right? Yes. The Hano Roundtable. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, my guest tonight is Miss Aisha. <laughs> hey, how you doing, everybody? <laughs> ah, there you go. And we do have some people in the crowd tonight. Uh, we, we have her, her husband and, and two of my buddies that are that are hanging out with me tonight. So if you hear some background noise, we do have people uh, in the studio watching the show uh, live and in person. Um, let me see. Let me get to my my comments. Here we go. I'm telling you, man, we're 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 hurting here. We're hurting here. Um, <clears throat> I also wanted to. Uh, to say, you know, uh, that Aisha, w when, when I first uh, talked to her, she was just like, what? <laughs> and I said, hey, I got a podcast. I, you know, I've been following you for a long time. And, you know, she was very approachable. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys have been to Viles or, you know, stuff like that. Sometimes to me, some, some of the artists, they're not so approachable. Uh, I'm not going to mention names, <laughs> but... Uh, you know, some female artists are really, they're really hard to, I, I don't know, for a guy, it's kind of like, you go up, you know, uh, I know your husband's here, but I mean, that's got to be kind of hard, you know what I mean, being somewhere and then, hey, can I get a, <laughs> I get, like, you know, if I was married to to a Tejano yeah. singer, I mean, I don't know if I could do the whole, yeah, go ahead, take a picture, you know what I mean, I, I'd probably like, at the end, after five pictures, I'd be like, Charlie, no more, no, more. No, no more pictures, man. <laughs> So um, I can see some women not um, being as approachable because, you know, you know, like you said, I have my husband with me and if they're by themselves, you know, they don't know who who that man is or whoever's coming up to them. So they, I guess they do have to be a little cautious, uh, cautious, unapproachable. They have to be <laughs> cautious, very, very, very cautious, of course. So, um, man, we got defense. <laughs> We got some people on the uh, on the chat room already. Oh, hey, yeah. saludos to DJ Branding, like always. Saludos to Lucky J. Man, we got nothing but royalty. No, ro DJ royalties in the house here. Lucky J, Brandon from Pearsaw. Di Marie. Hello. hello. Oh, yo, look, Di's calling you out. Di, typical, typical star, dude. Oh, my God. I She's wasn't like, late. It was him. It was me. <laughs> she wasn't late. She wasn't late. It was no, me. It, it was me. Shout out to, uh, to to John Angel, to my tia Dora. Uh, let's tia see, Dora. man. Yeah, my tia Dora. To Robert Gonzalez. Rick Balderrama. Rick Balderrama. There you go. Saludos. Rick, I'm still waiting for my phone Dodi. call back, bro. I'm waiting for my phone call Dodi. back. Dodi. Hi, Dodi. Um, eight. Really, Adrian? <laughs> All oh all, all man! Views Heck yeah, all views matter. Um, no, Aisha, I want to first thank you for for um, taking the invitation to come to Bumpers Wacky Wednesday. Uh, you know, having you on the show, you are the second. I might be lying. Uh, like an official, the official Wacky Wednesday show. I think you're only my second 
um, female Tejano artist wow. that I've had. I had Di Marie yeah, before. I saw that. And uh, I really, w- what I love about having a female Tejano artist on the show is that you guys could really express how hard it is. <laughs> it's yeah. not easy. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, it it is a male dominated uh, genre for sure, you know. But um, you, how how, long, how many years have you been like putting out music officially uh, as Aisha? As Aisha, uh, since two thousand and fifteen, um, and professionally, I started singing in two thousand twelve. <clears throat> but singing, I've been singing all my life, you know. Since I was a kid and teenage years, I did talent shows um, all over San Antonio. Um, but at the time, you know, my parents, you know, they couldn't afford to, you know, get you get, some get recording time. Career, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And it was a lot different back then. And, uh, you know, you, I mean, it's still kind of the same, but right now, back then, there was no social media and uh, that helps a lot too. Um, but, like I said, my parents just didn't have the funding, so I went to college and went another route, but I still, singing was just my passion. I love singing. So you've been singing since you were a little girl. Yeah, though. I've entertaining yeah. and being on my grandmother's porch. Um, they would just give me anything to use as a microphone, and I would just bust out singing uh, Boy George or <laughs> Madonna. Of all people, Boy George. I love Boy George. Come a, come a, come a comedian, that one. Yeah. And Prince, Prince is like oh the, Prince, yeah, anything, anything from Prince is uh, anything is from Prince. He's saying the mic, you got to use the oh, mic. Oh, I got to use the mic. You said yeah. it go. Well, you just <laughs> see if it, see if it'll get closer to you. I don't want I'm you to scared like, of it. Ha- I was <laughs> Hold on, let me fix it. Let me fix it. Let me fix Please. it because I don't want it to fall on you. And then you're gonna. I don't Sweet. have insurance here at the house. And then ah, you know, you know, you know, you know. hit you. No, no, you relax. You good? Okay, there. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, guys, oh, that's what happens when you show up at 722. <laughs> we don't get settled in the way we're supposed to. Okay. Um, yeah. Hey, saludos to Corpus Christi, Texas, to the 956, uh, to one of my uh, sponsors, Mr. Joey Morin from Joe's Hat Company. What's up, man? Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, this is your first time tuning in. My name is Bumper Gomez, and you're watching Bumper's Wacky Wednesday on a Tuesday. So um, we do this every single Wednesday, and um, I love Tejano music, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, 90% of my guests have been, you know, Tejano artists, and Aisha is, you know, no different. She, she is a, a Tejano artist, and I'm going to tell you, Aisha, Yes. I'm really honest here, and I'm really, right? I, I say what I want to say. It's my show. You know, that's what I do. <laughs> um, but the first song that I ever heard you sing was a was a collab okay and uh i have my, my wife is originally from florida oh, awesome. and so you know um I, I i was stationed there uh for about four and a half years and i met many 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 friends over there and uh you know some of my friends ended up they used to go dancing to a club that i worked at and then they ended up having making their own bands right and i was like yeah the Hano bands in Florida, they they exist. They're, yeah. they're, they're out there. There's a lot of good ones. Yeah. And uh, one of my buddies hit me up. He's like, hey, man, we're starting a band. It's called Completo. And I'm like, okay, cool. You know? Uh, and then uh, he, he they had a, one single that I, that I liked. Mm-hmm. And then when you sang on the, what was the name of that song? Um, Yo Soy De Ti. Yo Soy De Ti. Oh, my. Hey, I told her last <laughs> night. I love that song so much that I even sing her part. It, it's a guy and a girl, but I, I like seeing I, I like singing. I want to hear that. <laughs> He's like, yes, so I did. Yeah, see, I, I like that's my favorite part. So that's the part that I sing. You that's know, that's the first time I've heard that. <laughs> Max, you sing the girl part too. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, shout out to Completo. Thank you so much for inviting me uh, to do that song. Uh, they were working on their album and at the time and working with Gabriel Zavala and uh, they reached out to me. So and it just um, that song, you, you know, I guess we both felt it and they recorded over there and I recorded it over here in San Antonio and it came out awesome. Uh, thanks to everybody that that enjoyed that song. But that, hey, that, <laughs> it took me to Florida. Was that song? Uh, it, it made the charts, right? That song. Yeah, Yo Soy de ti? It, it actually did. Um, 
in 2019. I believe it ended the, well, because they released it at the end of the year. Uh, it was number one uh, on the Rudy Trevino countdown. Yeah, well, and then um, it started the 2020 as number one also. So see? <laughs> good job, did, guys. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you know, that, that you know, for fans, like what she just said, I, I know some of you just probably didn't even They're pay like, attention what? to what she said. <laughs> Not that you're not listening to her, but what I'm saying is just, you know, you're not really listening to the details. She said, I recorded my part here and they recorded their part in Florida. And we, the fans, we get it one piece. You think they're all sitting in the studio together, yeah. looking at each other, singing when. All when, in love. <laughs> <laughs> when I was facing the wall. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, so so w when you went to Florida, and you, did, did you get you get to do a couple of shows with Completo? Yes, uh, I was able to do. Um, well, I went twice, but we did a total of four shows, mm -hmm. and um, it was awesome. I got to get a lot of Florida fans and friends. They became friends, so um, it just it helped me out, and it helped them out. They got known over here uh, because you, of the You Texas brought them over here, and, and they took you over and there. And they took me over there, so. That's awesome. The man. collab helped. We helped each other. Did, did you, did you were you and your husband kind of amazed on how many Tejano fans there are oh, in Florida? Oh, yeah, I didn't realize. Uh, I thought, it, you know, Florida, I'm thinking... Uh, Puerto Ricans, Salsa, Merengue, Merengue you know. Bachata. Yeah, but no, there's there's a whole area of Tejano lovers. I mean, Man, all over. The whole state. I mean, li literally the whole state, you know what I mean? Uh, Florida always gets underlooked. <laughs> uh, I know New Mexico gets a lot of love for having some Tejano artists. A uh, few in Arizona. Um, but definitely Florida, uh, to me, they just over get, uh, you know, overlooked. But living there... You know, I realized how big the, the, the Tejano uh, music was in Florida. And uh, Aisha, so in 2014, what did you say, 2000, what was it, the first time you put out an, an actual something? Uh, 2015. 2015. How was it? Uh, I, I don't know. No. Wait, let me okay. tell you. How was it the first time that you're driving? I, I, I've never asked nobody this. Mm -hmm. but it's a good question. How was it when you were driving and you heard your first time you heard your voice on the radio? Well, um, it didn't happen in 2015. <laughs> it took hey. the first song, you know, um, it, it got radio play, but more, um, actually it didn't get radio play. It got um, not, well, not terrestrial radio. It got a lot of internet play. Internet play, yeah. right. So in the car, I wouldn't have right. heard it. But I did, I would hear it like, um, you know, on facebook live or when they would they would play it on that in that sense then yeah. yeah i was like oh my god they're playing my song thank you so much um because uh, the internet radio does help you know did help you know it does help people get your name out there it right. does it might not um help you on sales or streams or you know money wise but it does help you in the long run because they get your name out there that's what yeah. social media is it's it does help well we were talking about that last night yeah. on, on the show like you know, I think artists have now, uh, especially uh, the ones who are on social media, they're realizing how powerful social media is um, to, to put out your stuff. Um, but going back to the question, yeah. when you were driving and you <laughs> did finally, whether it was it a was year amazing. later, two years later, <laughs> like, is it like the movies that you did? Did, did Max pull you over or did <laughs> like, did you just like sit there and cry or like look at each other or you know what I mean? Or did you re? Like, to give my phone, let me record what's going on Actually, here. Actually, I did. Um, and my first song that made the radio was um, Better No. And I was coming back from a show with Ram. <laughs> and he was in the car with me, and we videotaped it. And um, and I was just, like, all excited. I didn't even know how to, like, I was driving, and I didn't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> I was all nervous and, and excited and saying thank you for playing my song. But it was, it was just it was exciting. That's cool, man. That's were, cool. At that time, they were just starting to put um, new artists, newer artists on the radio. I think this was like 2017. Well, yeah, 16, 17. They had like just one hour of new artists. Oh, um, like they would pick. Hey, this is the only hour after this. We're going back to all the oldies. Hey, you, you know, I've been watching video clips of, of other people's podcasts, and I kind of troll other people's sites mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And you know, I've noticed that a lot of people are are give they 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 don't give the enough attention to internet radio. Yeah. Internet radio is popular, man. Yes. Like if, if you guys the Bnet, I, I that, that just it popped in my head. I'm not picking on them, but um I know uh Pancho Pistolas, he has like yeah. his own 
in uh, and, and you know, and then every radio station they have their they have an app. Yeah. Right. Everybody has an app, and I think you know now even the DJs are going Facebook Live. Eight yeah. while they're while they're you know on while the radio, you can get a little yeah. kind of interaction. Um, but Aisha, when so so you you, you just told the, the the people watching like you you're you're touring with Ram right now, right? Yes. Okay. And how did that how did that come to play? I mean, did he had heard you before, or did you meet through like a mutual friend or? Um, well, my husband knew him. Um, I never met, I met Ram in 2016, uh, but my husband knew him years like way in the 80s, and mm -hmm. we went to a show and um, we just re he reconnected with him and he heard me singing like he would sing and then I would like automatic just sing the harmonies and then he was like you don't I wasn't thinking he was hearing me, but I was you know I'm always, I'm always doing that even now when we hang, when I hang out with anybody we're. It could be you, and I'll I'll just start singing. And I'm sure other singers do that, but um, he's no he's like I noticed that, you know. So you, you do sing, sing when you're not on stage? Yeah, <laughs> I'm always. Hey, no, dude, I'm serious because <laughs> you know, I, I mean, if you're a plumber, you're not gonna come home and be a plumber, dude. Like, <laughs> he, 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 I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, if that's what I do Let for me living, plumb you. <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna go there. We're, we're keeping this rated rated <laughs> PG thirteen here. Well, uh, yeah. uh, no, man. So y y y you 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 like to sing? It's funny that you say that because I had um I had Michael Salgado here. Uh -huh. He was one he was uh, one of the first guys that that I interviewed, and he came over to the house. A true story. He walks in. Uh, he sits down in the living room because he 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 was uh he was an hour early. Uh, he, he didn't show up at seven twenty two. He showed up like at six twenty two. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm not throwing no names out there, Aisha, but you know, but, uh, you know, we, we, we sat, we got to sit down and we, we had, we were drinking a couple of, a couple of drinks and, uh, we we're in just in the living room and my wife's cooking and, and, uh, my wife has the, the TV on and she's playing like YouTube videos. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, uh, okay. So he gets, he, he gets up and he's taking a phone call. And what does my wife put on the, she puts on honky tonks and cantina. <laughs> I look over my shoulder and I'm like, dude, really? Like you're gonna play the guy's song and he's sitting right here in the living room? Guess what happened? This fool open oh, my not this fool. Michael opens the front door and he starts walking back and he's like, honky tonks and canty. And I'm like, Mike, you sing to your own stuff? He goes, Yeah, all the time. I love to sing, and I'm yeah. just like, oh man. Yeah, I, I mean, we make up stuff sometimes. It, we'll just say something and we'll make up from the song? words that you. Say. Oh yeah, my kids know me. Like, like I, I don't. Really, I'm not a very talkative guy in the car, but with, like when they were younger, I used to make up songs just to piss them off. Like, you know what I mean? If they got in trouble at school, I would just make a song just to get under their skin all the way home. If it rhymes, it sometimes it wouldn't even make sense, you know. Um, Aisha, when you were growing up. Was was Tejano music a part of your life, like your everyday life, or was it just something like, you know? Because again, I'm not gonna name artists, right? Uh, but yeah, I'll take another one, Adrian. I know you're gonna ask me. Um, when you when you when you uh, he threw me off what I was asking. So was when you, yeah, when you were little and you were growing up, right? So th like a lot of artists that I've met, a lot of them didn't really like Tejano, mm -hmm. right? They they were singers and they tried to make it in their own. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely one of those. Thank you, Max. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going back to the OG original porque uh, my friends here they're kind of bougie and they showed up with like this ultra gold stuff. It's actually pretty That's good. That's my favorite. It's actually yeah. This? Yeah, yeah like, right I like ultra gold. <laughs> but I wanted to wait till after because I didn't yeah, want to be ladylike. It's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> good. It's pretty good. Give her one. No, I wanted to be lady. <laughs> uh, uh, like I, so, so when you were little, right? Going going back to what I was asking you, I was so, little one time. Yeah. yeah, when you when you were, when you were younger, <laughs> right? When you were younger, um, I, I, a lot of artists that I that I've known, you know, when I get to hear their stories, a lot of them did they didn't like not that they didn't like the handle, but that wasn't their cup of tea. Mm -hmm. And then when they realized, like, hey, man, uh, I'm not gonna make it as an R&B singer. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not gonna make it as a as yeah. a country singer. Like, you know, I I am who I am. And maybe I can make it in Tejano, and the yeah. next thing you know, boom, they're, they're, they're in the Tejano yeah. industry. Was that not you, or was that you? Uh, yeah. When I grew up, um, growing up, I would, we would listen to Tejano music, but my father was in the military. Uh, he was in the Army, 
Uh, so I won't we, hold that against we, you. <laughs> we, even, everywhere we went, my mother would always, I mean, when we would come home on leave to San Antonio, that's when she would buy her music, her Tejano music, and take it with her. Back then, there was no internet radio to hear right. in Washington, D.C. or, you know, Washington State. So you're a military else. brat. Yes, I'm a military brat. <laughs> so, hey, no, that's... <laughs> You know, you know, here in this house, that 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 holds near and dear to my heart, oh, Aisha. Thank you. Well, yeah, my dad served you know, I 12 did years. Over 20 years in the Marine Corps. I have eight kids. Oh, wow. And they're, they're, you know, they're all military, they're all military. brats. You know what I mean? So uh, San Antonio was where we ended up calling home, right? And they, yeah. they love Texas. Um, but they grew up for the most part. That was one thing that, gracias a Dios, I didn't have to move so much with them. So they're really more in California than anywhere else. Oh, that California is really their their second home, um, but that's cool, man. I didn't I didn't know you're a military brat, yeah, man. That's military brat. <laughs> so so you so definitely you we were grew up around with other kind music. Of music, yeah, yeah hell and yeah, different cultures, and um, you know I didn't go to school with all Hispanics until when my dad got out of military. Then it was weird to me because you know. We went. We stayed with my grandparents for a couple months because my dad was transitioning, and I was going to a school where it's predominantly Hispanic. And here and in San was, Antonio, yeah, and there was just one white girl. What school? What school? What school? What school? What school? What school? Yeah, there was just one white girl, <laughs> and they were pick on her. It was a uh, Leal Middle School. Yeah. Oh I mean, man. It was in the South Side. So. Wow. But yeah, I grew up everywhere, and, and you know, like going back to your question, <laughs> I listened to everything. I liked R and B, freestyle. Um, um, but I liked oldies, and then I liked rock. Um, I just uh, listened to everything. So my music, like my first album, I did a little bit of like I did a cover of Lisa Lisa, because I really I like Lisa Lisa. So I was like, why don't I uh, incorporate what what I like a little mm -hmm. bit of what I like and bring it into my you know Tejano you know CD. But uh, you know I wasn't I didn't ra I wasn't raised um, to speak Spanish in the house. My parents spoke Spanish. They were fluent in Spanish, but uh, and we understood them. But to you, you're a to typical. To you're, speak it, I, you know, honestly, it. you're a typical Tejano. Yeah. And, and, and you you saying that? I mean, um, my show. <laughs> I really like. It's not just music. <laughs> if you can tell by the wall, like I love our culture. Yeah. I, I love I love Chicano culture, mm -hmm. and um, you know uh, I've done shows where I've talked about like our history. You know. If you follow me on Facebook, sometimes I post some stuff in the government, and you're like, God dang, this guy's anti. No, I'm not. Yeah. I just, I get angry because I, uh, I think our culture is so lost. Like, we don't, we don't have, our history is not traced. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, you know, we, Mexico has their history. The United States has their history. But what about us? Like, we, we, we didn't. We didn't live. We didn't move. We we we've been here. Just the we didn't cross the border. The border crossed us. Yeah. You know what? What about the hundreds of years of that? We're going yeah. into another subject. No, it's all right. No, no, no. <laughs> but it, 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 that's one of my big things. You know, yeah. uh, going to you know you grew up in a military family, so you grew up around all kinds of cultures, all kinds of races. Yes. And and you're right. You come to San Antonio, and it's going to be ninety five percent Mexicano. You know what I mean? And uh, most Tejanos. Uh, it, it's different than than Califas. You, you know, in Califas, uh, uh, most of the Mexicanos pues hablan español everywhere. You know what I mean? Uh, aquí in Texas, for the most part, a lo menos they, they understand it. Like yeah. they, they can, you know, aquí Spanglish rules. You know, Spanglish <laughs> rules. And then it, it, if there's not a word, uh, you're trying to talk Spanish and if you don't know what the word is, you say the English word, but you just put, you make it like it sounds in Spanish. And then, you know what I mean? There There it is. I can't even think of a word right now that... That happens, uh, but no, man, definitely. Uh, I'm I'm really really big on culture, so that's great. So you you bring all these styles, and then what made you one day just say I'm gonna do the handle? So getting back to that, um, at the time when we were getting into singing, because my sister sings, she sang too, but she's four years younger than me, and my parents would put us together and and, and take us all over San Antonio and to uh, talent shows and stuff. But um, at the time, they only had Selena Pistas, um, uh, Shelly Lattis Pista, and Linda Ronstadt Pistas. It was, the Pistas were very limited unless you had it like specially made. So we would sing Selena songs back then. So that's why, you know, I think Selena inspired a lot of people um, in the start, in their start some, in some way, because, um, you know, 
that's she she was cool she made the homo cool you know and that's you know that's what we saw when we were i i, I when, think i think at the time i don't want to age myself no 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 <laughs> but, but we, we we were kind of talking about this a little bit last yeah. night like you know we need as a genre if you're an artist and you're watching listen what we need is we need to find these people who can reach these the audience of like a 15 to like a 35 year old because th- th- that is that is the audience that's going to go out. They're the ones that are going to leave their house. They're going to spend money and they're, they're going to go and they want to have a good time. Right. Not saying that if you're over the age of 35 that <laughs> you don't do that. Um, I was just at this place <laughs> Sunday and that's not the case. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> definitely not the case. Uh, but, uh, y- you know, you as y- Selena made like you just said, it, she made everything hip. Yeah. Right. Like it was it was cool. Like. Dude, that's elite. That's that's me. That's that's yeah. us. Like, check it out. We're in a Coke commercial. We're in a we're in this. When's the last time you seen a Tejano artist in a in a in a Coke a beer commercial lately? Yeah. Hey, and if you live in San Antonio, <laughs> KSAT, local channel, local things don't count, bro. I'm talking like on national TV, like a like, a, you know, an ABC uh, uh, national yeah. commercial. We don't. Yeah, but for me back then, um, my. For my age, <laughs> uh, Shelly Lattes and Selena were a really big uh, influence to me because you know that's what I would hear as far as far as females out there. Right. Um, I think at the time, um, Elida was just coming out, mm-hmm. and um, and uh, I mean there was a uh, lot of canales, but that yes. just was a different estilo, a different type of style, and and for some reason Shelly and Selena just captured my attention. So anyway, that's what interested us into singing Spanish. I mean, they got us into wanting to sing Spanish and learn Spanish, you know, because of them. So ahora puedes hablar español no. muy bien. <laughs> I understood exactly what you said. <laughs> me siento muy, me siento muy excited. <laughs> no, man. Um, but no, it, it, that's what makes, that's what makes Tejano music so awesome, man, because I, I'm going to go on a limb. I'm going to throw out a number. I could be way <laughs> off, but it's my show shit. You can fact check it later if you want. <laughs> I would probably tell you about 40% of Tejano, Tejano artists could not carry a conversation with you um, in Spanish, like a, a, a <clears throat> continuous conversation. Correct Spanish. Correct Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Correct Spanish. No, yeah. you're, you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah. You know, that, that's me. That, like, Four out of ten that I've talked to, they, yeah. they, they don't they don't speak, which is fine because when they sing in Spanish, that shit sounds badass. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, so, uh, who's a uh, shout out to La Chismosa 210 watching? Hi, little Chismosa. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Everybody, if you're tuning in on uh, on the behalf of uh, of Aisha Hello. here on, on her page, again, if you don't know who this guy is, my name is Bumper Gomez, and this you're watching Bumper's Wacky Wednesday. You might have... <laughs> Heard it. Uh, you can go on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, Bumper Gomez. All the interviews are on there. Um, you, they go back almost uh, a year. There's some that are just like, <laughs> dang, bro. You know what I mean? It was a, a Friends Gone Wild party. The oh, other day. <laughs> hey, hey. Somebody said, hey, bro, you got to start doing the after party show, too. Because we had a, I, I had, you're talking about the TikTokers, yeah, right? Yeah, that was like fun. He was so, dude. <laughs> Aisha, that was four o'clock in the morning, oh, man. Wow, when that's we, early. When we, when we called it. <laughs> that's Great, early, man. Uh, shout out to all my family in Beville, Texas. Hello. Uh, Hello. Oh, you're calling my name over there. You need some <laughs> ice and some water over there. Um, but I, uh, uh, Aisha, as a female Tejano artist, if the, if the, there's a female watching, that's like you know what. They're in the same boat as you. You know, they grew up listening to the R&B and they, they, they have a beautiful voice. And it's like, man, you know what? It's, it's just the, the R&B is so saturated with people. Like, I, I guess sometimes you just got to sit back and like, you know what? I got to be real with myself. Like, am I ever going to be at that? Can I ever make it to that level? Yeah. Not saying that you can't, but I think, you know, if, if, you're, a very, if you're a very good singer, and give the handle, give the handle a, a, a shot. You know what I'm saying? Um, what would you say to a to a young lady who's like maybe on that on the fence? You know which way they want to go if they want to continue uh, uh, trying to get into the R&B charts, mm-hmm. 
or cross over into the tunnel. What would you tell them if you if you were to have like a like if you were sitting down at a table, eating you know some pancakes in the morning or something? What would, what, I gotta what would, be eating. Well, I'm just saying, I, you know, I don't know. Yeah, drinking, he could be drinking a drink. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. <laughs> no, um, you know, if they have the opportunity, I would tell them take it. I mean, if they're a young a young person, mm -hmm. you know, obviously they have. I mean, actually, there's no. I don't think there's ever. It's never too late to do what you want to do because um, I'm one of those people that started later in life but um, but into the R&B it is a big it's a bigger genre but I would never keep I would never tell anybody to not do something not follow their dreams yeah not follow their dreams if they have the opportunity um, just go for it you never know because then you'll be sitting there wondering you know what if like I did for a long time <laughs> until I finally got up there you you have a voice that is. I, I, I was listening to your songs earlier, and I, I'm. I, I was sitting at my desk thinking. I said, "Man, her voice. It, it's it's like. It's a unique. It's a unique female voice. Sometimes females, uh, in a, in a, in a, and not just the handle, just like in general, like, um, for instance, if you hear Christian music. Sometimes to me, like all the hip Christian, like the new Christian music, you could put all those guys and girls in the same room and you don't know who the hell singing the song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you, you don't have like, oh, that's Selena. That's Shelly Lattice. That You know what I mean? Yeah. You, they don't have like their own. You do. Thank you. You know, yeah. you do. You, you have you have a voice that's just it's beautiful, man. I mean, if I'm singing her parts, <laughs> what, 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 what does that tell you, dude? You know what I'm saying? Um but, you know, we're speaking about the Hano music and, and keeping it. Um, the word is relevant. relevant. Relevant, relevant. You heard it right here on Bumpers Wacky Wednesday. We're not doing, you know, uh, we're, we're going to have my, my, my buddy on there here that always says the Hano isn't dead. And, oh. I, uh, and I'm happy that you the say Hano that. The George Clooney. Huh, the Tunnel George <laughs> Mr. Balderrama, you heard that? Yeah. Uh, but, but and that's cool. Tejano is not dead, but I just like to say that we got to keep Tejano relevant. You know what I mean? Um, and the way you sing, the way you carry yourself, I'm not going to say how old you are. <laughs> I don't care. No, no. It, 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 it. 24. <laughs> Hey, hey! Your husband just raised a shot glass, know, and he, he just laughed. says, Sass. <laughs> "He laughed the loudest." Right? <laughs> oh man! No, I, I, Aisha, I, I, I really, I really dig um, the fact that you, and I don't want you to take this in the wrong way. There's females that couldn't do what you're doing right now. There's females that couldn't go on stage and be like, "I'm gonna sing." As a as a backup, right? I'm Aisha. I got my own shit. I got my own my own music. Hey, that's my wife. I know she was she was probably busy, but that's her right there. Hey. Hi, 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 how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, you were talking about the mono. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, baby. I didn't see her. She's talking about it. She I thought it was your wife. He, I didn't see you ever. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> oh man. No, um, see, you threw me off from what the hell I was going. See, that's what happens, Aisha, when it's live. When three quarter, we could have stopped and we picked up right, right where we, right where we left off. Um, somebody just sent me a thing. I, I and I, this show is all about Aisha. And yes, those are real dogs in the background. And yes, they are barking. Um, um, you said that I, my own artist. And, well, oh yeah, yeah. So a lot of people couldn't do what you do in a sense of like. You know, you sing back up for Ram Herrera, which is a Tejano legend in his own right, right? He he is a he is a straight uh, Tejano legend. Well, 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 hello to you hello. guys too. Yeah, everybody, everybody decides to walk There's in a today. <laughs> Again, <laughs> threw me off. Well, he is, he is yeah. Right, and and that's cool. I, I'm, I was going to get to that, but. A lot of really, honestly, a lot of people could not do what you're doing. Like, hey, I'm Aisha. I have my own records. I'm going to, you know, I'll wait for a promoter to find me and put me on a stage. But for you to like, sometimes, I guess men, 
Women could probably do it because they're pride, right? Uh, they're, they're, they're not so prideful like men. Men are yeah. prideful. They're like, Charlie, I'm not going to see no backup <laughs> for nobody. I, you know, I am who I am. But uh, Max brought up a great point. The fact that he lets you still do some of your music is great. Yeah. Um, but that was his, his um, well, him and Eric Avalos, uh, that was their thing about, a uh, shout out to Eric and the guys uh, in the Outlaw Band. Well, I'm part of the two. I, I, you know, they, that's what the I guys say. They, they, the have guys say, um, they have to uh, they had to, you know, I guess they had to, the band had to agree to do that too. But um, bringing me on, um, he didn't just want me to do background vocals. He wanted to showcase me also and do a couple of my songs as well. And, and, and uh, you, do, do and I, when, I, when, I, when I'm working with him, I don't, I don't see myself as Aisha. When I'm up there, I, I'm, Part of the team, part of the hell no, you're still like you should do. But you know, I just that's that's to me, it's a job. That's it. When I see you live, I'm making it a point to go to the stage and be like, (laughs) Ram's gonna be singing, I don't know, whatever his most popular song. Be like, Aisha, (laughs) hell yeah, and Ram's gonna be like, like, get off. I'm singing it. I'm singing. (laughs) (laughs) He's gonna be like, you're you're fired, Aisha. You know no, what I'm he's no, he's cool. He's cool about that, and yeah, and uh, nice. he's that's what um, that's one thing about him is that he's up for the new artists, and uh, not just myself, but you know everywhere we've gone, um, pretty much. Well, not everywhere, but some of the places that we've had shows, there'll be somebody there that he'll there's they bring onto the stage. Like uh, they brought Demi Garcia. And Houston. Um, hey, how do you feel when they do that? Like, hey, Charlie, hold up. I, I got to sing my stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, this is Wacky Wednesday, yeah, bro. Do, you I you know. get the real shit right here. You get the real, the well, real I still scoop do my right songs, here. Though, now <laughs> like, Ram, I'm still doing my two, right? Like, I'm still doing my two. Like, that's one of your songs. That ain't my two. Ram, if Yeah, we, uh, people are calling me in the middle of the show. Um, <clears throat> no, uh, uh, so Ram, just make sure, okay? There, you're, you're, if how many songs did you do? Two, three, two, yeah. Okay, so special guest. <laughs> Aisha still doing two. Aisha still doing two. That's um, funny. <laughs> today ain't Wednesday. We know this, man. You're showing up late. Today is Tuesday for y'all watching, but it's still Bumpers Wacky Wednesday. Um, Aisha. You are you, you live here in San Antonio, you know what I mean? We are in, we are not saturated, but we are in what we consider the the Tejano um capital of the world. Mm-hmm. And it's it's everywhere, right? <clears throat> like you can go anywhere on a Friday and a Saturday night. I like watching uh, uh not watching, but reading Facebook sometimes like, hey, we're coming. What what is there to do? There's you can oh do you can Tejano dance seven days a week yeah. in San Antonio if you really <laughs> If you really wanted to and, and know the little cantinas and where to go uh, with the with the good DJs and stuff and, and live music. Um, how do you feel about living in such a saturated Tejano area? How do I feel? Um, it, it can, it's fun. You know, a lot of people do live here that are um, in the Tejano industry. Um, and well, before COVID, you know, we used to hang out a lot more. And then, um, I don't know why I say before COVID, but 2020, um, it before so it all started, <laughs> yeah, uh, 2019, I should say, you know, um, but I really haven't hung out with a lot of people um, since, I guess, I should say when things opened up again, because that's when I went, I started going on the road again. Um, that's when Ram started working again. So he's been pretty busy every weekend. So that's, that's my uh, the, t- the times that I go out is during the week, so that you know, and I still work during the week. So I have, I if I want to go out, it's on a Tuesday or Wednesday, and I kind of juggle everything and be a mom and you know, and, 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 and 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 I feel bad because I didn't ask you that, and and I I mentioned that, and uh, I think my pre post was your mother. Yes. And how many how many kids do you have? Um, I have one one son. One son. And I have. Uh, Three through uh, through marriage. Through marriage. Yeah. And they're, they're all at home with you. No, just my son is with us. How old is he? He's Sixteen. Oh, yeah. 16. sixteen years old. Pinche he knows <laughs> he knows everything. He got the answer to everything. Anything you oh, say yeah. doesn't matter. I know. Uh, 
<laughs> Mom, uh, that's red. <laughs> no, son, it's blue. I'm telling you, it's red. No, it's blue. It's been blue for and the my last. Son, he's high functioning autism, so he like he's he can be quirky sometimes. He's he's funny. really <laughs> yeah. He... So not so not only I mean that that's even more like you have to you know more attention yeah. uh, to him, and you still find time to do music. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Like <clears throat> that that says a lot about you as a person. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of people would, I know a lot of people who would just dedicate themselves to, you know, like, hey, I'm, I'm going to do everything for my son and any, any, any dreams or anything that I had, I'm going to put yeah. to the side. But did you can manage work, your son, and your music career? <laughs> my husband helps me out a lot. I have to say. Um, shout out to Matt. Wherever he might husband. be, shout out to her husband. <laughs> don't, don't get him started. <laughs> 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 he won't <stop. laughs> But he helps me out a lot. And because of him, I wouldn't be able to do a lot of stuff that I do. I mean, he helps me out, backs me up, supports me. Um, even when I go sometimes out of town. Um, um, he to Thursday and come back on he Sunday? Doesn't, he, he doesn't always go with me. And that wasn't always the case in the beginning. He was like, no, you're not going by yourself. I'm going to be with you. But, you know, we had to learn to. Um, I went to Florida by myself this last time. and um, You flew? I flew to Florida. And. Uh, they took care of me, awesome people, and, uh, you know, I, that was just, um, and I also went to Arizona by myself. Uh, I mean, we Dang. just had to, we learned to um, kind of just work around Co-parent. Yeah. yeah, 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 And he yeah. Helps, um, helps me out a lot with my son. He's raised him since he was five. <clears throat> it's awesome. Hey, cheers to you, Max, man. <laughs> Thank you for That's being you, brother. Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you for letting us have Aisha, dude. Like, you know what I mean? You can have her when she's at home, but we need her as a Thanos star. He's like, I barely see her now. Hell yeah. Uh, shout, before I forget and get yelled at again, shout out to my mom every show. She, she's got hi, a, mom. Hi, hi to my mom in Beeville. Um, to, uh, oh, hi, Braulio. Hi, Braulio. Yeah, What's Braulio. Chingona. Braulio. Hell yeah. What's up, Braulio? <laughs> Thank you for tuning in, bro. Um, oh yeah. shoot! Look, Eloy Lecha just joined the. He just he's watching. Lexi. Shout out to hi Lexi. <laughs> Lexi's watching. Ruby, hi Ruby. See that? Um, oh man. Felipe, Felipe, my good friend out of um, New Mexico. He's from New Mexico. Yeah. What part? Los Cruces. Felipe, Felipe, Felipe Gomez. He was a real good friend with um, Ernestine Romero. And, oh yeah, and, um, yeah. And then uh, he follows a lot of Tejano um, artists and supports Tejano. Thank you. That's Mina. awesome, man. That's Thank awesome. Thank you so much. <clears throat> um, and uh, but yeah. Um, what what's the what's the biggest audience that Aisha, not Ram, <laughs> Aisha's performed in front of? Biggest audience, I would have to say in Florida. That was my biggest audience. A lot of people, right? Yeah, at the ranch. Where did Shout all these? The where did all these Mexicans come from? <laughs> and for them to be dancing, that was awesome. So, how'd you yeah. feel? Were you nervous? No. Well, I get nervous. Oh like, um, hell! You shouldn't have said no. I'm not. No, that actually, that's not. It's not a bad thing because uh, I had a discussion with uh, somebody. I'm not gonna bring his name up, Ram. <laughs> he, he says, if you don't feel nervous, then you know, then you, it's okay to be nervous. He goes, if you. He goes, everybody, he goes, I still get nervous sometimes. And he's he, a, he, and he's a, he's, he's, he's been around forever. Forever. <laughs> hey, well, did you hear that? She's calling you a dinosaur, bro, a dinosaur. But no, he's a staple. He, he yeah, is, he is a staple, icon. a pillar, <laughs> an icon in, in Tejano music. Um, you, you know, it's weird because some artists, they say like, you know, if, if I play for 25 people in a cantina, I'm more nervous to do that than I am to go it's play for 10,000 people. Everybody's watching. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> like, you know, they're watching, talking. I, I could see that. Um, no, in the be like, before I get on, I get a little, but once I'm on there and I know what I'm doing and, and I know that, you know, I'm up there, I'm, it all goes away. It all goes away yeah. really, really, really quick. Um, <clears throat> see, I was just telling you, man. We have a, we have a dog audience. Oh, yeah, we got a dog audience. We got, we got, we got all Where kinds of people on here. <laughs> It was um, Wacka, was it Twisted Tuesday? <laughs> Twisted, hey, she called it. And she's like, hey, we're doing Twisted Tuesday on Bumper's Wacky Wednesday. That was good. I like that. I like that. Uh, Aisha, when you're on the road with Ram, you know, do 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 people actually, like, they do, when you're off the stage, and I, I know what you said when you're on the stage, like, I'm not Aisha. I'm just, I'm part of the band. I'm doing my part. But when you get off the stage, um, lately has more people... As as you've been coming out with more single after single, have they been like saying, "Oh shit, this is Aisha"? Like, hey, can we get a pic? 
Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they, um, the, and when I'm, the places that I've been to, um, I, you know, the people that follow me or if I put out that I'm going to be somewhere, they'll be there and they're like, we came to see you. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> and then they're like, you want to take a picture? That's yeah. going to be an awesome so, feeling, so, though. Um, shout out to everybody that supports me and everything that I've been doing and my solo career and and whoever I've been singing with. I mean, I've, I've sang with different artists. Who um, else have you sang with? But, um, I was Oscar G. Oscar G was with, with Oscar G for a while and um, Savannah Votion. Um uh, Stephanie Lynn. Um, and high energy? It, no, it was just Stephanie Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> there was no high energy. It was just there Stephanie Lynn. There was no high energy. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> I would have been doing those dances like her <laughs> brother, right? <laughs> I would have been tired. <laughs> I, Aisha, I'm a background singer, not a background dancer. <laughs> So you don't do no dancing? No, no, I'm not jumping around. <laughs> but I mean, you don't even but do yeah, you don't I mean, even do like the yeah, little side, move, like but, the side to the side. But I ain't jumping up and doing the running man or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw I saw Ram I saw Ram on Sunday yeah. uh, at the at the at the Pepsi oh, uh, yeah. at the at the Pepsi. Henry Pepsi, Pena. Yeah, Henry Pena. Pepsi Congratulations Pena. on your 50th anniversary. Yeah, man, that was a that was a pretty it was a pretty uh, cool show. I went live. Look, um, uh, what they, look, what they see? Yes, dude. Awesome. Yeah. You seen those guys? Yeah. Have you seen them live? Yes. Yeah. If you have not seen LA forty five, la cuarenta y cinco, cuarenta y cinco, whatever, <laughs> however you want to call it, if you never seen them, and you are a fan of like the old school Tejano big band sound with all the horns Amazing. and the instruments, like the dude has a whole symphony behind yeah, him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he, he played he played a, a David Lee song. Uh-huh. Um, uh, 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 um, what's the name of the song? Especialmente para ti. I think so. Yeah. I, I, I think yeah. that's the song. But he played it. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's yeah. a David <laughs> Lee song. But you, like, you, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> you hear the horns and stuff. You're like, wow. And, and you know, uh, the crowd was older. Uh, you yeah. know, Pepsi Ben has been mm-hmm. around for a long time, and he had oldies too. And you said that you grew up all over the United States and. Mm-hmm. Um, oldies, um, I don't want to say that. How oh, fuck? <laughs> I'm going to say it. I'm trying not to, I'm, I'm, I've been, my, no, no, my babysitter. Oh, Shout out okay. to my babysitter growing up, Susan. Susan, Susan, Susan and Troy Mendes. Uh, they, they get on me. They gave me, uh, my buddy Troy, he was a, he's an Air Force veteran and mm. he gave me a coin and, uh, he had me come to the house and he presented it to me. It was, it was very emotional for me, yeah. but, uh, she's like, mijo. <laughs> You say the F word way <laughs> too much, right? And my mom says that. My wife says Everybody says So I've been trying to stay away from the F word. Okay. Um, so if you Fun. guys have noticed, like, dang, Bumper hasn't said the F Fun? word. Fun? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that word. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm really trying to, uh, to stay away from it. Uh, Andy Bustamante is watching. She's like, much love. Aww. So Andy, Hi, Henry. she she sings a backup at uh, on Mike G and the, the Iconics, yeah, I saw that. Um, and she has singles too. Mm-hmm. Like she she does her she does her singles too. And I think Mike actually she sings a couple of her songs as well. That's great. Which so shout out to her. You know, I mean, like again, doing what you're doing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, being able to put your pride to the side and be like, hey, this is a job, and and this is the way you you and look at it. I don't even it. see it as a job. I, I guess I said it wrong. I should say. Um, I'm going off of the way you said when it. I'm with him, when I'm with him, it's it, it's the Ram entity. Um, that, I guess I, I don't say, oh, I'm I, uh, I'm Aisha, you know. Um, but if people recognize me, then you know that's awesome. Yeah. It goes yeah. with it. And uh, he calls me La Grito now. There you go. Because <laughs> hey, hey. I'm always I do the gritos. This guy told me in Waco this past Saturday. You do the gritos for yeah, the Yeah, he band? was like, he was like, girl, hold up. I thought it was a guy doing gritos, but he was like, hold up. It was, oh, hell, it was a girl. And I, <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Damn. Like, yeah. <laughs> so Eric, will, you know, sometimes he'll key me in and they want me to do an extra grito. And I'm like, I jump on it, right? You, right you know, grito, <laughs> gritos in the onda. I, I, if you do a grito, I gotta, I'm going to have to hear it. No, uh, no, no, I'm not going to put you on the spot like that. But I got to go to a show in here because... The, right now, right now, the grand champion of Wacky Wednesday artists that I've had that have the Dugritos is Gilbert okay. from uh, from Chamacos. Oh, okay. Fierros, I think, is his yeah. last name. Uh-huh. He, he does the anime. Before, oh yeah. my goodness, he 
<clears throat> the guy dude, man he, he does a grito like like you wouldn't like you wouldn't believe but if you beat him <laughs> Then, then you're gonna take the belt. You, you're, you're gonna take the, Wait, the give me, give me something belt. to drink. I know. Hell yeah, that. hell yeah. I, you know what? I never drink when I'm singing, so all that is sober. When you see me, when, <laughs> when I do the gritos, I'm you don't singing. drink when you. Not when I'm gonna perform. No, not till after. Like let, if we let, have let's, two let's or three. Let's talk shows. about that. It's, it's wacky Wednesday, so let's talk about that. If we have like two or three shows, I won't drink until we're done with like the last show, and I'm then going, I'll be like, "Give me a beer. I'm ready." I'm going off of me. I'm going. I think I sound like. Like uh, Richie Valens, after I drink about <laughs> eight beers, I could sing anything. Donna, you Any, sing dude, I sound exactly like him. So I'm thinking that artists, if they drink, uh-huh. they relax more and they're like, hey, they let it out. Like, boom. Well, beer you know beer what gives I mean? me bu- like bubbles in my throat. And then I'm, I'll be, if I'm singing, I feel like I have to burp. And so oh, I won't drink beer. Drink some Crown Royal. And, and then if I drink liquor, then I'll feel hot. And <laughs> Ching. Damn if you do, and I damn true, I if suck you on don't. Halls. That's my, that's my, that's my thing. I suck on halls. Um, when you when you're singing, mm-hmm, before I sing. Do you, do, you, do you have do you have like a, a ritual that you do before you go on stage? Yeah, I like do warm ups, and but I do suck on halls. <laughs> you're looking at me. <laughs> not not Daryl Hall halls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god being, As, hey guys i didn't this is her yeah i i didn't i didn't give i didn't push into that or anything that was all he's right choking there. back there are you okay yeah <laughs> 911, 911. oh my god bro she has a crowd in here choking back here like, what the hell's going on um so let's get back to 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 you yeah do you have friends that that you grew up with in the military that you you send them and they're like Yo, what is to, what is Tijano music like? You know what I mean. Um, actually, I have friends that I grew up with uh, in the military that fought, that are friends with mine, friends of me, friends with me on Facebook now, that were friends with me, you know, before I even started professionally, mm-hmm. and they're just like, they're ex- they're happy for me. That's that, awesome, you know, man. They're That's... like, wow, I can't believe you're, you know, you you have songs on iTunes, and you know, I mean, and no matter what race, they probably play them, right? Yeah. Like, hey, that's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> we so went to third cool. grade to together. My, shout out to my Fort Sam Elementary friends. <laughs> you went to Fort Sam yeah. Elementary, Mike. You didn't go to Cole though, right? No, but um, Sha- Shaquille O'Neal went to Cole when I was at Fort Sam. I was in um, fifth. Fifth grade, yeah, fourth Sam, well, fourth grade, yeah, and he was, I think, a senior. My, my, my uh, some of my kids went to Fort Sam oh, Elementary. Really? Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. My so music teacher, so much of... my my first music teacher, Mr. Sanders. I don't know if he's watching. He's, he's still there. Yeah, no, but my, I don't know. No, no, he's, he's not there no more. But he's my friend on Facebook, and uh, he was at Fort Sam. Shout out to Mr. Sanders. <laughs> that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Um, so going back to being a Tejano artist. Do you think do you think that since you're a female that it's sometimes it's harder it's it's harder to to make it in this business than it is for for a male? I have, and be real like I have male friends also that are that are in the same you know were that are trying to be in the, in the business too or are in it and seem feel like they're not being heard. I think it's it it's both. It's hard for both. I, I think I think it's just harder on women um, visually. Like, like I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a skinny person. I'm not a, a um, you know. I've always strug- struggled with my weight, and that was one of the things that that kept me from singing is because I felt like you know what I'm not skinny, so I can't sing. You know, or I can't. Um, you know, I wasn't like I wasn't um, you know meant for the stage. <laughs> that was just my thing because I felt like that that's what kept me from moving on and, and holding back until, um, you know, I just had to let it go and let it all out and just Aisha, give it that's my all. Real. No, 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 <laughs> th- this is great. This is great. Like yeah. that's real, man. So I'm like, I'm saying it, it's, it's, it, it's hard for men and women, I think, because I have some friends, I won't put, put them out there, but you know, they have, um, I think they have amazing voices and they're not, they're just not heard. You know, they're not, they're not heard of and, um, they're ama- They're amazing talents and don't give up. <laughs> Keep going. Aisha, but let me, let me, let me, like, the, what, what you were talking about. That, that's <laughs> powerful, dude, because, you know, 
not all women that can sing are Coke bottles. <laughs> it, it, it's just realistically like that. Not, not every not every person that you know that you hear the voice and you know they're gonna come out. They're gonna have green eyes and blonde hair and. <laughs> You know what I mean? Whatever the measurements are, I don't even know what thirty six, whatever. Uh, <laughs> he looked at look, look, look at look at my guys in the audience are like trying to throw numbers at thirty six. Twenty four, twenty four. So, hey, somebody comment. What, what are what are the uh, what are the actual what are the I don't actual? Forty four, twenty four, forty four. Damn! There you go, Just right play. there. Luke, did you hear that? Luke, Luke, Luke. I ain't giving you my waist size. <laughs> I said twenty four. No, but but let, let's I don't think talk, I ever let, was a twenty four. Let, let's talk about that, Aisha. Like, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome that you know, you 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 actually admitted, you know, saying like you struggled with weight, and you know, as an artist, I can see girls being like, you know what, man, I'm never, I'm, they're never gonna give me a chance. As soon as they see me, yeah. I can give them my demo. They hear it, they're like, man, we got to get this girl in the studio, or yeah. you know, get in front. Of, and then when they meet it, they're like, yo, nah. <laughs> It's, 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 I've it's had a, people tell me that my voice sounds different than what I look. I was like, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, because I guess my I have a higher range, and I have a, they say I have a, a younger voice, and I, or I sound younger than younger what you than are? I, I guess. Or, yeah, so I know that's just the way I, I sound. <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> no. dude! I I I, I really I really want to. You know, for girls that are watching, you know, or, or, you know, you share this video, hopefully you're sharing the video. Um, you know, somebody could come across this and listen to that and be like, you know what? F that. Yeah. Like, like, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? If I, I didn't say the F word. He said F. I said F. <laughs> I said F that. I didn't, I didn't say the actual word. Um, but, you know, Andy's on here and, and, and she says the same thing. Like she's, you know, she, she's agree, like agreeing with everything that oh, you're saying. Thank you, Andy. Um, and uh, that's called her name is uh, her, her real name is Fireball Andy Bustamante. I, I named her that. I've yeah. heard of her, but um, but I don't think she um, can add any more friends. <laughs> or, no. I don't know. I tried adding her the other day. Her, 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 yeah. So you're a popular girl. Her yeah. name is Fireball. <laughs> they call her Fireball. So we'll talk about that another day. Why, why they call her Fireball. Uh, no, and not the shot, not 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 the not oh, the. Oh, well, I'm not yeah. singing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> oh man. The challenge has been posted. Uh, Lisa Martinez said, "Miss you, Aisha. Let's go have some tacos." Oh. Ching, guy, we're here trying to talk about it. La otra. Let's go have some tacos, bro. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> um, Miss you too. <laughs> uh, going back to that, right? Yeah. Again, and I just want to stress on it because you, this show is, the, the reason I started this show is about people's stories. Mm -hmm. And not only are you an artist, but you, you struggle with, you know, you said you, you struggled your whole life, like yeah. whether you wanted to sing or not because of your weight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you could sing, you could sing. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, supposedly, I guess you sing with your body. <laughs> The more body you have, the more. The, mm. There you go. That's right. You got yeah. big lungs, girl. <laughs> you gotta breathe. That's all. Oh man, no, it, it's it's a uh, it's just one of those things that I just you know I really want to stress on again, just because you know yeah. some girl could be could be watching this watching and then it. you know and saying hey you know what if if she can do it then then I then I can do it I can put that to the side and you know get get on stage and and do what I got to do. <laughs> Honestly, and you brought it up a little, you, you said it, but you didn't really like uh -huh. put your pata down on it. <laughs> well, so you're going to put it out there. Yes. Okay. Like when I go to, a, when I go to a, a show and, and then I'm going to go, you know, watch a female Tejano artist. Well, you, you know, the girls, you know, they, they wear these, these outfits and, yeah. you know, a, a man is going to be like. You know, are you watch? Are you watching the show? But not are you all watch women that dress sexy can't sing because there's the ones that are out there that are beautiful and dress have amazing outfits and can wear that stuff. But can't sing. And they sing beautiful. They're amazing. No, but I, didn't I say thought that. you say they look beautiful, but well, they can't sing. Well, they can't sing. I, I'm not saying that because <laughs> I'm not perfect. Oh, that's man. making fun of somebody else. No, 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 no. You, you, you're right. There, there is. But what I, what I was getting at is like when I go to a show and, and, and I'm going to go see, uh, right. And, and I'm, and I'm, I'm real. This is, this, I, I don't, I don't like to fluff or bullshit people. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm being, you know, real, you know, um, and, and the two that come to my head, you know, 
one of the most popular Tejano female artists is, is Shelly Lattis and, and Elida. You know what I mean? Um, I know when I've gone to the show when I, in my 20s, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just <laughs> like, and my wife's like, really? Like, <laughs> hey, yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, hey, they could sing five more songs. You're like, what song do they sing? I don't know, I but, don't it, know. but it sounds good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I'm, I'm, but they sing. They're amazing they're singers. They're beautiful yeah. singers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm just, what I'm trying to get at is I think that's rough. I, I think that's that's a hard part of being and a female and in the happy, industry. Us women do that too. I mean, we, it's, oh, it's oh, you guys. Hey, guys, Max, guys. really? <laughs> what you hear this? I mean, I'm sure that, or there's women out there that go see a certain man or a male artist for the same reason, or they, they the just... The Desperado singer. <laughs> <laughs> I went to every Desperado <laughs> dance, every Desperado dance. When we first hey, the married. Desperados, <laughs> they, they get their instruments, they've seen a ton, flexing the whole time. Bang. The accordion ring. <laughs> uh, see that? It's your muscles coming out all over the place. No, you, you, you're right. I, I know, I know, uh, uh, you know, uh, like Michael, you know, Michael's here, I, you know, girls go and they go, they go, you yeah. know, Google goo Gaga for all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and you're right. But I just think that it, for females, it's just, it's just harder. Maybe because I'm a man. Yeah. Right. Like, you, you know, you're going and it's like, I have oh, to wear, yeah. I have to wear this because I want people yeah. to, you know what I mean? If you went out there in a, in a, in a big quinceanera dress, would they think <laughs> the same? I don't know. I mean, would they crowd the stage the same, or they would be dancing more? But you, and then at the same time, you can be a, a big girl and and present yourself and look and look beautiful on stage and and still, um, you know, I would say I mean, carry you can yourself, carry yourself like however and you feel. Yes, and and definitely, and just give it your all and sing and don't let anybody stop you because of that. I, I think most women that I met that have that that sing the way you sing. They have beautiful souls. They have they're they're beautiful people. Um, I I've got to to uh, actually make friends with some of them, mm-hmm. and it's just cool to have a friendship with them like separate than music. Yeah. And you get to know them, and you're like, man, that's why they sing the way they sing because they really carry their their yeah, life. Boy, and that's yeah. where I wanted to ask you: Is there songs that maybe that have you wrote any songs that you that or or, <coughs> or you you have writers that you go to? Um, I've never written any songs. My husband, he just started writing for me. Um, but my first album, it was um, either songs that I recorded that were already done or um, uh, or Gabriel Zavala wrote the songs. He wrote, but um, one song that I did, I didn't think he was listening to me, but I was telling him my story about <clears throat> my first marriage. My first marriage... Um, he was my first, my first love, and he's my son's dad, <clears throat> and he was killed in a hit and run accident, and um, I never got to say goodbye to him, and so it was like um, that was that one story, and then but then he sees me the way I am with my my husband now, Max, and how he treats me. So instead of uh, it's the song's called Me Llena de Amor, and uh, it's on my first album called uh, uh, Mi Vida en Canción, and. Um, it, so instead of being all like all sad about you know my first part of my life, um, he brings it up in the beginning of the song, <clears throat> and then it goes into it talks about my first love and how I lost it and I was lost without him, and then it goes into when I met him and how he makes me feel and makes my life feel full with roses and love and flowers and <laughs> kisses. <laughs> so hey, um, hey, so that song really means a lot to me. Um, because it, it is about me. If you go and listen to Me Llena de Amor, that is a true story. <laughs> and Gabriel Zavala wrote I, that. I, even I, though I, I didn't, I, I even though I didn't write it, he he did um, listen to what I, you know your story, my and, and story, and, and that's what my ne- next song was. Yeah, so when yeah. he presented it to me, I wasn't like I was in tears because I was like, really, you're this? You really did listen to me? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know he was going to write about that. <laughs> so. I, Aisha, Bumpers, Wacky Wednesdays. You know. Uh, it really goes back again to the to my get whoever my guest is and their story in life, and what you just shared like right now like, you know, not too many people can relate to that. Yeah. Not too many people can relate to, you know, losing a loved one, you know, especially your spouse and never being able to say goodbye to them. Um, you know, you lose friends and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like you know, that's but but your spouse, you know, the person you love, the one you're gonna grow old with. Yeah. But at the same time, you know. The way you explain the song and your husband now and the way he treats you and stuff, 
you know, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in like when you were born and you know, when you were conceived Mm -hmm. that the Lord knows when he's going to take you. Like there's, there's there's nothing you can do to change that. Like, and and to me, I use that as like armor, like, you know what I mean? Do whatever you got to do in life. Like if it's your time to go, it's your time to go. But that was part of your road. That was part of your path, you know, and it made Aisha who yeah. who you are right now. Cause cause who knows how your life would have been, you know what I mean? If mm-hmm. that would have never happened, and that I'm yeah. not, not in a no, bad way. Right. I'm I'm not saying in a bad way. Yeah. Just people have. Cause my life was different um, when I uh, I didn't I never saw myself. I mean I would sing at weddings and funerals. They would ask me, and when I was with my first husband, but um, and he was a songwriter. He actually wrote. He has books and books and books of songs uh, that I have in storage that I need to go through and see maybe for my son to figure out what to do with those songs. I mean, he was a music person, um, totally, he was just artsy, very, uh, he just loved music. And the way you say you love music, yeah. but he wrote everything down, whether poems or songs. But anyway, I mean, um, I have that. And I, and he, you know, I think that's what helped. When I was with him, it, my life was totally, I was, a, I, I didn't follow my, my, um, my music career, and I didn't even have, I didn't have the money to, I mean, I was struggling, you know, I was being a, I was a, we were, single mom, well, we were together, we were, we were struggling. oh, even when you were yeah. together, okay, yeah, and then, you know, we had our son, and, you know, we lived paycheck to paycheck, um, you know, it was just a different life, and, and I was just starting my, my regular, my, my work life, and, um, and so I didn't have time for singing, and I don't know how I do it now, I really don't, but it just, but you it, make it, it happen, I make it happen, but at the same time, my husband supports me, so, no, um, it, 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 it's, it's just a different support also. I, for the fans that are watching, like, you, the, Aisha, the artist, like, there's there's stories behind artists. They're, they they live, they're normal, everyday people. Uh-huh. And they have, you know, some have some crazy, some crazy things that has happened in life. And do you use that? Do you find that you use your path in life in your, in, in the way that you, you sing a song? Sing a song. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sometimes when I, I have like a block when I'm gonna like say I'm gonna record a song and I, I'm just not feeling it because and then or, I don't know I just can't memorize the words or something so then mm-hmm. I'm like you know what I just need to just um, focus on something and sometimes I'll I'll take myself back to, uh, a time in my life so I can get that feeling like like yo soy de ti um, I went back to the time when I first got with my husband and when I was recording thinking about when I first got with Max. I went back to that time, like when you know when, when you first get together. I mean, I'm not saying that we're not in love, but but it's, it's <laughs> I know what you different. mean. The honeymoon yeah, phase, the different. honeymoon like phase. You, you're like you, yeah. you can't. You just I have to get into that mode, and and so when I was singing, I was like, "Yo soy de ti, yo soy tu amor," like just like cr- like kind of crying, and like I want it, you know. So that's. That's how I got into that. Hey, Max, I was gonna say, like, if that was me, I would be like, hey, she's talking about me. Vato, that's me. That, that's, that's, uh, that, that's, so, you know what? Screw this. I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna see if I can do this. I'm gonna see if I, how many, how many of you guys, give me some hearts if you wanna hear Aisha's open up her, her vocals a little bit. Let's see, I'm gonna see if I can get her, cause I, I don't wanna sing her part. Oh, I, I don't, I don't want to do uh, Vidal's part. Let's, uh, oh. No, hell no, I ain't singing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll go to two viewers quick. <laughs> my, my, my mom and my kid, probably. <laughs> Hold on, let, let, let me, let me, let me see, let me f- see if I can get to. Uh, yeah, I know I got it here somewhere. I just. <laughs> shout out to everybody yeah do your in. shout outs right now thank you so much um, thank you so much to um, everybody tuned in uh, Rosie Allison Promotions thank you for promoting my music um, hello to Dora everybody that's tuned in um, Carla oh Carla Christina she, shout out to Carla she's a new um, artist out of Nevada and she's hey really Carla good. how you doing she's doing really good and um, she's out of Nevada yeah uh, Jonathan Espinosa, they wrote mm-hmm. Yo Soy De Ti. Uh, he's doing a project and um, of different artists, I guess, on the yeah. CD. And uh, she's the first female that he had on there. And uh, Que Lo Sepan uh, is, I believe, the name of the song. But 
E Rock said, Aisha. <laughs> What's wrong? What did I do? They're waiting for you. Oh, hell no. Bro. I'm telling you, you want to hear me sing? No, bre. I'll be down in Gibby's uh, thing next week recording an album if they, if they hear me sing. Hold on. So I'm going to see if, if uh, um, it, hopefully it plays. Hopefully it plays. Let's see if it plays. It does play, oh, but you wow. can't hear it though, huh? I hear a little bit, but it's okay. Of course. You know what? We're going to switch okay. seats. We're gonna switch Is that cool? So you yeah. can hear you can What do you want me to do? If you want to just sing like just a little part oh, okay. of that. Oh, oh, oh my part? Okay. Yeah, because. Uh, They're the, going to be able to hear it. The, the rookie here. Oh, okay. The, the rookie here doesn't have the second pair of headphones hooked in over there. <laughs> oh, so okay. we're going we're gonna to switch seats. Sweet. We're going to switch seats and uh, we're going to have Aisha <laughs> sing a little bit. What? Oh, oh like yeah. this. Oh, I can hear it. Yeah. Dang, hey, we got a guy who's been in some studios in the audience. We won't mention no names. I'll just I'll just turn it up. That's a good idea. Eloy, that's why you're here, bro. Here we go. Here we go. The real bumper. Here we go. wanted to give the, the, the crowd a little bit of, of Aisha's I voice. I felt like Millie Vanilli like a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Susan, if you're just joining us, I did give you a shout out earlier to you and Troy to my babysitter, Susan, who's watching. Hey, Hi, Susan. Shout out. Hi, Susan. Um, yeah. So that was amazing. And we're going <laughs> to play one of your, we're going to play one of your songs so you don't sound like Milly Vanilli, like you no, said. No, no, it was because I, I heard like the background. Like, the I, was, I was too ahead of <laughs> She was live, and, and the and the and the the, the music iTunes was, was was they were too iTunes slow. iTunes was slow. So iTunes was slow. That's what it was. Like to, like iTunes was was too slow tonight. Um, but no, that song like that song really when I when I heard, yeah, and I was like, that's completable. But who the hell is this? They don't have a girl in their group. And guess what I did? I went and looked up who the hell Aisha was. Wow. Thank you. And it, you're right. It was number one for for a, a while. Yeah. On the Rudy Tarina show, it was uh, it was um, it was number one. Um, Aisha, what do you what does what does your son think about? Do, do you do, does he know who his mama is? Um, In a sense, like does he does he know like, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's funny because um, he's all about numbers. So mm -hmm. and and he looks at everything like with numbers. And so whoever, like, if he sees Ray, Ray, mom, Ray, 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 he's more popular than you, mom. <laughs> mom, um, this person has more, well, well, mom, Ram right. has millions of views. You have, like, this many of views. Well, I'm like, and then you're not that, you're mom, not that you, famous, you mom. For 12 weeks. Nobody else did that, mom. Nobody else. With Baby Baby, you were number one for 12 weeks. Yeah, he knew and that. Nobody else did it. He knew. Only you. He On knew that. Yeah, so he, he knows, he knows he the numbers. That. Yeah. yeah. But um, but he's can be funny sometimes. 
<laughs> That's cool though, yeah. man. I mean, I mean, like I said, you you know you you work you work full time. Yeah. Um, you have a son who is autistic, right? Yeah. And and that's not. I mean, you can't just leave a sixteen year old by by himself. No. You know what I'm saying? We have uh, our, our primo. He helps us out a lot too. That's why. Shout out to primo. Um, I, like I said, I, it takes family and and teamwork to be able to do this. Because um, before my mom was around, she helped me out a lot. My mom passed away in 2018, so um, you know that helped out too. And then when when I lost her, you know I didn't. I needed. I mean. She she helped. I didn't realize how much she helped. How much she helped, right? It's kind of <laughs> yeah, like so you, you become accustomed to it. It's just part of yeah. everyday living. You don't really realize. So that kind of changed things, too. I mean, um, for a little while there, I kind of stepped back a little bit. Um, I even got off the road because I, I was with Ram before, and then I got off the road, and, um, and then uh, I came back this year, uh, like I said, when everything opened up mm -hmm. again, and he went back on the road. Um, but, you know, because I needed to spend that time with him, and I... And, you know, because I felt like he needed me because my mom, he was close to my mom. And so I so felt like he needed did, me now, even yeah, more. He needed you more. <laughs> and yeah, not exactly. that he doesn't need me now, but I, it was just a rough time for all of us. So that, uh, that's, a, that's, you know, again, it kind of just shows the person you are. You're, you're a hardworking person. If you're, if you're a mom working full time, taking care of your son, and then still having time to carry your personal music yeah. career and, be yeah. part of the outlaw and that's band. What's, that's what's um, I'm lucky about that is that my job that I do, uh, it's flexible and um, a lot. I do have paid time off that I could take off, but usually if I know I'm going to have a, a show on the weekend, I'll work extra uh, during, during the, the week? week to make up the time. And so I, I always want to ask artists that, like, <laughs> uh, do you got to have, like, a cool boss? To, like, if Ram says, hey, Aisha, we got a gig Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, I have. I'll usually know ahead of time, and and I'll put in. I'll tell my boss. You know, like I said, I don't use my PTO, so they don't give me no trouble. But at the same time, I work from home, and I'm a co I'm a hospital coder. I don't I don't mind sharing that. Um, it, I don't, if you don't know what a hospital coder is, is um, I code medical hospital bills for the ER and surgery. Oh, and you're that <laughs> chick. I do. I code the level and what you come in for. And you send us the medical bills. <laughs> no, I don't do the billing. I'm a coder. I'm like, <laughs> don't jump on me. Oh my god, that's like coding my credit bills. is bad because of people like Aisha. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, <laughs> I code it. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. But so I, um, I, my job is flexible, and I do, I am blessed to have that flexibility. Um, and but again, I some days I work like 12, 14 hour days to make up for the time that I'm going to be. See, so work you, you work from home even before COVID. Yes, I've done this. Do you, do you have your own office at home? At home, yeah, my little corner. <laughs> I, 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 you know. Um, I'm not going to say what I do for a living, but I, I, I've been working from home the last <laughs> year and we, we just started going back to work. And then now I think now we're going back to working from home 100 percent of the time uh, just because of the, the, the outbreak now again, of co the, the what is it variant, the, yeah, the, Delta. the Delta variant. And uh, I, I. I don't know how people do it. Yeah, I don't know how you do it, like. It's boring as hell working from <laughs> what's cool about it is like you can get up in your boxers and your chunquitas and like I usually have dress from here. Out. Yeah, you get in a thing. I'm like, hey, well, hey, how y'all doing? Like, you know what I mean? Just don't ask me to stand up. I thought, don't ask me to stand up. Uh, hey, I got a buddy who says you work. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Tigo watching uh, from from Florida. There's a guy from Florida right there. Um, you know. Uh, when you were when you were uh, when COVID started, so you, you really that really didn't affect you then. Um, actually, I take that back. Um, right before COVID happened, I was laid off in November from a job that I worked for eight years, and I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to get another job at home. Right. But um, I was hired on. I mean, that's the good thing about coders. I mean, they're it's a, it's a job that you'll always. Uh, in the medical field, they, uh, they always, always need them. Them. So uh, I got hired on in March, like right before um, you know everything was shutting down, and they stopped hiring. And so thank you. I mean, thanks to God that I was able to get in again during COVID. 
I had a job, so I'm I'm blessed to have that. Oh, that's good. But um, but yeah, I've been working from home since like um, I would say 2011. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. That's ten years. Yeah. Are you sure? No, really. Like, I don't think. I and don't I have think to I force can. myself to get out. And, and Are you gonna bring it on shit. a tray too? You gonna come on? <laughs> just, just re- reach down. Right I'll here, take right? it. <laughs> you want see one? that now? Down. <laughs> His right. arm. He's like. Shh. <laughs> it's still we got out. bartenders. We got bartenders in the studio, man. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Request Aisha new music. Me gustas. On your favorite, hey, that. yeah, that's Rosie, my promoter. Thank you again, Rosie. I had said on a shout out to you earlier. I don't know if you were on, but thank you so much. So, Me Gustas is your that's the new single, me right? Gustas, yeah. And that's that's the catchy one, <laughs> yeah, right? Do, you, do, do. do, yes, yes, <laughs> it's the catchy one. Rebecca was talking about that song, yeah. and and I said, I think it's a song that I think it, and she, when I played it, I said, that's the song, that's the song that I, that I think I, that you I think have to, I mean, I love the, the ballads and the, the songs, the vocal, vocal challenging songs, like, I love those, you know, but sometimes I think you have to throw out a, um, a fun song, and that's what I wanted. That was your fun song? I wanted this to be, yeah, and I had another one called Baby Baby that did really good, and it was just, rep- it was just. Repetitive. repetitive and um, it's like it was catchy. a pit bull song yeah <laughs> pit bull pit bull's so, good that man pit bull will give you three lines badass but I mean, beat but the thing with these songs is they i mean they do have their the lyrics aren't just three words but i mean they just have these words that stay with you like baby 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 and then like this one it's me gustas but that one part do 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 i mean it just stays with you to me i mean but when i told gabriel what this song that I wanted to do uh, when he was writing for me, I said I wanted to ha- I want to have a song kind of like Baby Baby. He goes so like Baby Baby had a baby. <laughs> Hell no. So that's what Megus does. Is <laughs> I got, I got let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, there's Baby Baby. baby. Let's see. It should play. Megustas. I don't know. Should be playing. What's going on here? Guess I gotta turn it off. Yo, you need to get on iTunes. A I S H A. Download all our stuff. This is beautiful, man. And then. This is the 2021, though, right here. Yeah, this is what you're talking about right baby, here. Baby, baby had a baby. <laughs> baby, baby. Yeah, you're right, because it's kind of like the same yeah. tempo, the same tempo yeah. to it. See? You're kind of like tuning in, but it's not really a radio. It's it's, it's you know the, sh- 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 but it, it sounds like rough, and then it goes into it goes clear. Makes it clear, yeah, yeah, <laughs> heck yeah man, heck yeah. So I thought that was cool. No, I uh, all your songs are very catchy for sure, mm-hmm. for sure. All your songs are are are, are very very catchy. Um, I really just want the people to know like, this is Aisha, man. And <laughs> if you haven't, like we just said, like. Go to, go to, if you have an ugly Android phone, I'm going to lose viewers tonight. I know I am. <laughs> I have an yeah. Android. <laughs> hey, there you go. If you have a, if you have an, if you're an Android user, what is the music thing for Android? Uh, Google Play or, or Amazon. It, okay. Amazon or Google Play. Uh, I think, yeah. That's uh, put in Aisha <laughs> and, and get all the down. Spotify. I, I'm, I'm an Apple guy. Like I'm, I'm 100% sold. Apple, you know what I mean? I used to have an Apple phone, um, an iPhone, but then um, when it, I broke it, it fell and cracked. I needed a phone right away, and then I just went and got a whatever guess, phone. Whatever, whatever phone was on sale, I cricket. Yeah. <laughs> the best out of cricket. Boom! Here you go. <laughs> they go. This is the best. I go. What's the best one you have? <laughs> and you didn't buy another iPhone. You left. No, us. I just stay. Yeah. I so mean, you, you you make our, you make the conversations I'm green. Sorry. <laughs> You, you, we we all we all have the we all have that friend that you're in a group text and it's yes. like it's blue blue and then they, hey I'm gonna add so and so and they add them and then it turns everything to green. Yeah. 
Always, there's always one. Or the the um, the emojis. Is the different. emojis, yeah. Or like we love something and then we get it. They like a message says they loved whatever your yeah. comment was instead of the heart on the on the thing. <laughs> no, uh oh, we're pausing. What the heck's going on? Let's see. Switch now. <laughs> Taking some hits. Hopefully it didn't Uh-oh. stop. No, we're still good. There we are. We're back on. We're good. We're and good. we're back. <laughs> and we're back. Um, Aisha, what else, man? What what else? What else? Do you, if, if you know some stuff that I, did I didn't, mean, you know, talk about. What's some stuff that really? What does Aisha like to do? What does I? What does Aisha like to do when you're not on stage? <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> Ching. Um, <laughs> typical woman answer. Sleep. Um, I'm, I'm trying to exercise, but. <laughs> You know what? I've been trying to do that. That's one thing just for my health, not necessarily that, oh, I want to, I mean, it would be great, um, you know, to lose weight, but it helps um, in the breathing and um, to me, for me, um, when you're singing and just for my overall health, I'm not getting any younger. So that's why I do, cardio. Do, do you, do you, uh, who does the cooking at home? My husband actually cooks right now. He Damn does all the cooking it. and shopping and. Uh, he does everything. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> he does everything. You do everything by yourself. <laughs> he does that. Uh, he does that no, by Only a wacky Wednesday. He does that by himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, dude! Uh, it's freaking hilarious. So yeah, man. No, you know, no. I, that, I actually have time for that somehow. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Hey, we're about, I, I, I have a new sponsor, Aisha, and this guy's uh, near and dear to my heart, and uh, I talked to him today, he's like, bro, you got to get me as your sponsor. I said, okay, we do it. It's not cheap. He said, I don't care. So uh, if you guys, your first time watching, my new sponsor is none other than my little brother, Henry Aww, Gomez. Henry Gomez. Henry Gomez yeah, from Aztec Chevrolet in Beeville, Texas. This guy is a car like if you can go just looking for a car you're gonna walk out with a car oh, wow. or a truck right um or so you're yeah gonna drive, drive you're gonna drive you're gonna drive out something you know <laughs> what i mean so you can reach my brother at 361-542-0171 and that's aztec chevrolet you can you can um, google aztec chevrolet it'll take you to the website you can see all their inventory but here's the great thing the great thing about aztec chevrolet is that you can do almost everything through the phone and internet oh. to where I think they even take you to the car right to your driveway. What is it? Touchless? You don't, yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. You, they taking cars to Alabama, Georgia, Cali. If you find a good deal with them and they can make it happen. Uh, hey, he's already, he's calling him right now. He's ah. it. <laughs> <laughs> so again, man, shout out to my brother, a uh, new sponsor of uh, wacky Wednesday. <laughs> Uh, hit them up, 361-542-0171. Everybody out there in Aztec Chevrolet, and B, the, uh, the dealership's in actually in Beeville, Texas. Um, you know, if you don't know where Beeville is, it, I think it's the biggest town in between <clears throat> Corpus and San Antonio. Uh, if you if driving as, you know, as a crow's fly, it, it's the biggest town. But they will, they will definitely get you the vehicle you want, and they'll get it to your driveway. So, again, 361-542-0171. Ask for Henry Gomez, and he'll take care of you. So, hey, see, my brother, he's like, hey, bro, what are you going to say like, about say me? <laughs> um, e- e- yo. You, you, you need a vehicle? Hey, hey, we're not done, bro. You want me to do a, you want me to do a, fit, he wants me to do three minutes of commercial. No matter we're going to lose all the, <laughs> hey, hey, since we are a commercial break, since we are a commercial break, uh, I'll go ahead and do it right now. Look, okay. so let's just do it so, so Adrian doesn't drop me as a. <laughs> That's the thing. Hey, ego. if you're looking for a man shed, a storage shed, you're tired of looking at all your wife's Christmas shit, <laughs> what, whatever the case may be, you need somewhere to put this stuff, you need to hit up my boy Adrian Acevedo, 361-319-0434, right? He works for Premier Buildings. Um, Premier Buildings, I think, is all over the United States, but he's specifically in Beeville, Texas. He's been a sponsor of Wacky Wednesday since the very beginning. Um, and, and we got a lot of things coming that we're going to talk about here at the end of the show before we let Aisha go. We got some things to talk about. So, again, if you're looking for a shed, 
You got lawnmowers. You're tired of seeing that lawnmower in the back. You, you need somewhere to put it. Hit up my boy, Adrian. He's got repos. He's got you shit, new shit. He's got it all. Like he's got all kinds of buildings. Whatever you need, he will he will custom build it for whatever whatever space you need, and he'll get it to you. So hit him up again, Adrian Acevedo, 361-319-0434. Dang, dude. Let's see. Oh, TDK. He's he's confused. T, you know TDK, yes, right? Yes, TDK. He's like, I thought today was Tuesday. It is TDK. You're not. It's you're not. Twisted Tuesday. Right. Hey, if you guys, uh, if you're a big Tejano fan, and you know what? I got to get TDK on the show. Yeah. Dude. That would be cool, right? Because yeah. everybody knows him, dude. Everybody. When I first met him, I'm like, why do they call this guy TDK? Like, the I, it was. Dancing King. Right. The, <laughs> the Tejano Dancing King. And he, there's no lie. He is the Tejano Dancing King, man. He dances from the I beginning of the him, show. I noticed him at a show. Um, he was in the, in the audience, and he was like, and I was like, oh, TDK, TDK. TDK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Uh, Shout out to TDK. Thank you. <laughs> look, look, TDK has a saying. You could you could take it, Adrian. It says, new shit, old shit, all kinds of shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You got to put that. You got to put that on the bottom of your business card. New shit, old shit, and all kinds of shit. <laughs> Oh man, um, Aisha, where do you, where do you, where do you want to be? I want to be like, like in, in the sense of an artist, like a year from now. Where, where do you, where do you see yourself? Where do you want to be? I just, um, I want to grow more. I'm still learning. Um, I think we all, I feel everybody. There's, there's always room for growth, and uh, I just want to be um, a, a better. I, I guess get better and better at my craft and always strive to be better. Uh, I don't think that there's, um, you can always be better, yeah, right? Yeah. That's bad. That's bad. That's awesome for an artist to say like, Hey, there's always room for growth. Like, you know what I mean? I, 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 I I'm not at the top of my game. Mm -hmm. There's always room for me to learn something. And mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're and around. I feel like I, I have come a long way from, from when, when I, you first when started I hear stuff or see performances that I've done. You know, I'm like, wow, like, what was I doing <laughs> to to now? Like, or and, you know, from then and now, from then and now, it's like it's changed so drastically. Um, I And just a and, little bit of years. And that mentors you've been like that I've had. I've been so grateful to have uh, great mentors that, that believed in me, but I had to believe in myself. And not to put you on the spot, but has Ram, have you and Ram ever had just a, a sit down personal conversation, maybe over dinner or, or just, you know, uh, sitting and waiting for the show to begin and just be like, you know, I, I, I could just imagine being in this presence of a pillar in the Tejano music industry as such, you know, as, as Ram Herrera. And, and there you are, you know, he's like saying, hey, you know, whatever. D does, does that happen or not? Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, all the time. Um, um, real talk, you know, I know what you're saying, like real serious talk. Yeah. I mean, I talk to him all the time. But, no, 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 but, it don't have to be but, serious, uh, but just like where you're just like, you know what? That's he's given me, dude. given me consejos and uh, and just having me on his stage, you know, that's a big honor. Yeah. You know? um, but he he does, he has given me a lot of advice and um, and I've been in a room with him. It's just me and him talking, um, you know. Um, and he talks the way he sings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah. If you, if you never heard Ramada talk a conversation, the, exactly the way he sings, that's the way he talks. And with feeling. Yes. <laughs> when he talks to you, he's, he talks like, with feeling. <laughs> but no, I've been blessed to have um, those conversations, and I always cherish those. Um, not only with him, but with Oscar G and uh, Roger Contreras. Roger Contreras wrote. Entre cantina and cantina, entre cantina y cantina, and um, he um, he uh, was a very big uh, influence in my music career, and so see and and and, and he I passed think, away recently. May he rest in peace. I, I think you know when people hear that, you know that that happens. Like, you know what I mean? Ram Herrera is exactly what I've been preaching on the show. He is doing exactly what I what what I say. You know if if Artists come across this show and you're watching. 
and you're what they consider an A artist, right? Anywhere you go, you're gonna sell out the you're gonna sell out the violin, the concert, wherever yeah. you go. You know, our, our our genre, I think we hurt we hurt our own selves. It's not like an outside influence hurting us. Yeah. We hurt our, our own selves. selves. Yeah. Right? And um I don't think enough people are doing what Ram is doing. Mm-hmm. There's not enough people reaching out the hands saying, Come on, you're a new group. Open up for me, mm-hmm. or 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 you know let 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 me let me work on something with you or whatever. Yeah. I don't see that. I don't see that very much, um, and I think that we need to do that because, there, uh, like I told you last night yeah. in, the, in the in the episode, right? It's like, you know, we have a buffet of food. Mm-hmm. There's enough for everybody to eat, they right? You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, you don't need to go up there and be like, "Hey, yeah. Charlie, <laughs> this is my side of the table." Yeah. Have you paid your dues? Yes. Mm-hmm. Have you been on the road? Have you struggled? Have you? Yes, yeah. but hey, you know what? You were once that person that's yeah. trying to get their foot into the yeah. door. And why not, you know, why not help somebody? And that's what you're saying, have you paid your dues? Because um, that's another thing is when, when I was with Ram before, um, I didn't sing my own songs, you know. Um, it, I didn't just get on his stage and, and just expect to sing. Um, and at that time, I, I was doing my own thing. Um, but uh, this time around, you know, he said, you know, I feel that, you're ready. You're ready. Even you're you're ready to do. I want. I want to. Uh, you're gonna do background vocals, but I want. I want you wanna to showcase, showcase you. you. Him and Eric Avalos. Eric, thank you so much. Eric <sighs> is a Floridian, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Imokale. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Rick. Yeah. So shout, shout out, out to, to Eric. Imokale, Florida. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, that was a, a, a real honor for me to do that and uh because I, it took me a while to get to that point it didn't just happen overnight and, uh, <laughs> no no but but yeah. for, for you to say that ram has sat you down and told you these things yeah. you know that that carries a lot of weight man that carries a lot of weight and you're right you have paid your dues you know it's not like you went on there and say hey ram i'll do background if you let me do two songs <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's not that's not how yeah. it worked but ram please do not forget if you have a guest <laughs> artist Aisha still has her two songs. We're not we're not taking two songs from her. She's she's got her two songs, man. Yeah, definitely, uh, you're definitely. Crazy. You know, uh, I, I think Max I spit out his beer. So remember again, Ram, guest artist. Aisha still has her two songs. All right, we're taking one from you, not one from her. She's got two. Let her roll. Um, let's see. Uh, there was an oh yeah, Lexi. You know Lexi from TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, she she has a, a a great comment. She's like, Aisha, I adore you, girl. You're incredibly talented and such. Somebody stop commenting because I'm trying to read. No, but <laughs> Aisha, I adore you, girl. You're incredibly, incredibly talented and such an amazing person. You are exactly what La Onda Tejana needs right Thank now. Thank you. Thank you. That's <laughs> awesome. Great, 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 great comment. Um, let's see. Uh, Ram and Demi Garcia Martinez, TikTok singer John Robles, stage singing. Ram yeah. is so super supportive new ener- of new emerging artists. He's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's what I had said earlier, that when we've been to other places, you know, Demi Garcia and, uh, and, and, and uh, yeah, well, and Demi, Mar- well, we're getting back to that. Yeah. Uh, Demi was uh, invited in Houston, and um, and uh, they did Cuatro Caminos, and they kind of did like a, a little medley. medley like, yeah. Ram sang first, and then she sang, and then the other guy. I'm going to get her on here. I, I, yeah. I've talked to her. <laughs> we're going to get on here. We, we just... Um, honestly, Aisha, the show of Wacky Wednesday has snowballed into some, to some, I'm going to stop. I'm going to cuss. Don't even, into some <laughs> shit that like, I just, uh, sometimes I sit down and I'm just like, wow. Well, you said well, it wasn't originally Tejano. Uh, no, 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 right? no. It's not, it's not Tejano. Yeah, it's, 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 about it's about not, it's about everything. Yeah, right. Yeah. But it's just like all these artists like hey i want to do it okay let's do it like I, i'm not i'm not gonna say that's no awesome. you know what i mean that's awesome. and it's it's just kind of snowballed to bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and you know people call me like dude how do you get these people to come onto the mm-hmm. show like th- there's no magic number there's there's not i'm being real <laughs> with you like i literally if i see him somewhere i saw aisha at the conjunto cats Conjunto Cats was playing at um, 2.0. Oh, uh, uh, was it there or was it was it at the uh, pre-party to the to yeah, All Star uh, Music? All-Star, it was a pre-party. Yeah. 
Okay. Like you had already reached out to me. Yeah, I already had reached out to you, yeah. And so, you know, and she was like, heck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you would be amazed on how many artists just say, you know what? Let's do it. And I'm just like, for real? Like, really? Like, you, you know, I, let's you go know, now. It's, yeah, you know what I mean? And no, and I'm just like, wow. And, and, and I think, I think to the everyday person or to the viewer, like that blows their mind. You know, there's no, mu like, I'm not saying, hey, Aisha, here's 200 bucks. Can you show up to my house, the little studio I got and do an interview? Maybe I, some I don't. Beer. <laughs> yeah, some beer. You know what I mean? It's just, honestly, I love doing the show to meet people yeah. like you and for the fans to get to know who the artist is and the everyday people that you guys are. You know what I mean? And I love the music. I'm a fan of the music. Thank I you. mean, I, I got a friend in here that's been my friend for over 20 years, you know, and he's been in the music industry and, and him and another buddy of mine they always took care of me. Like when he was, uh, I'm not going to say the record label, but when he was there, like, I literally, my wife would be like, I'm going to kick this guy's ass <laughs> if he sends one more box. Llegaban cacas, dude, with like all the new, like, wow. well, this is before iPhones and all that, right? And, and or I'm, I'm, I shit you not, I'd be in Afghanistan or Iraq. Oh, box wow. full of music, you know what I mean? It would show That's up. Awesome. So, um, you know, they, they kept me in there. And when I come to visit them, they always... You know, we get to go to the to the backstage and stuff, and that's how I got to meet people. And and the show, like, it just I really love to talk to people. If you can't tell, I love to talk. Um, it's okay. <laughs> and, and and I I love sharing people's stories because everybody has a different story. Everybody has a different path. Yeah. And some people's paths are straight. Some people's are yeah. shit. They do loop to loops <laughs> and go backwards. And you know what I mean? Yeah. But to the to the viewers, like just keep moving forward. No matter what you're going through, you just keep you know one foot in front of the other, and you'll get through it. You never know. Uh, having a guest like you when, when you brought up, you know, you didn't know if you want to sing because you battled weight your your whole life. Somebody could come across it, even if one person like you know what, that's true, man. If I can sing, I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? And and that that's that's a real uh, reason that I love doing the show, mm -hmm. and and I really I really thrive the show on not having. And it's not and it's not just oh. Uh, women that are overweight i mean there's girls out there that are beautiful and they wear certain things and they're criticized because they wear certain things and you know it's just um it's damn if you do and damn yeah. if you don't so um, just do it <laughs> no de just definitely sing. um who else is on here uh oh yeah be before i forget let's see before i forget uh can you sing oh man Lisa Martinez says, Aisha, can you sing some Lisa, Lisa? Oh, Lisa, Lisa. Yeah. Oh, I did head to toe. <laughs> Ooh, baby, I think I love you from head to toe. I think I love you from head to toe. I love. <laughs> Damn it. You, you, it's hard to sing sitting down. No, 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 no. I tell, people, I tell people all the time, like, you don't realize, like, when you hear it, like, when I hear this later, you, you, you hear it, but when it's live, it's badass. Like, you, you can, you can feel, the, feel the energy. Um, so, you being a female Tejano artist, I want to thank you for continuing to do what you do, right? Dang for being a mom, for being a great wife, um, Max, for you being a supportive husband, dude, because uh, without you being a supportive husband, we wouldn't have, you know, I wouldn't be singing Aisha's part of my song. <laughs> it, you, you know, I you mean, in my that. car. I, I wouldn't be singing the, the girl part, you know what I'm saying? If, you felt you my were, part. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it, exactly. Um, and and before before we, we hang up for the night, there's some things that, that I want to I wanna bring out on Bumper's Wacky Wednesday. This week, mm -hmm. I was nominated for the Conjunto Music Conjunto. I, I forgive me because I, I don't know the whole the whole name of it, but for online DJ, uh, oh. not uh, DJ, but uh, okay. yeah, mobile, Mo mobile, whatever, wh whatever the word titles. You can look it up. The shit's on my Facebook. Oh, is it the the Jesse's Conjunto? Yeah, Jesse's all Conjunto All Star, Conjunto. All -Star uh, Award. Awesome. Not the All Star Award, but the Conjunto, the Conjunto, the Conjunto Award. ones. Awesome. And uh, I was nominated this week along with my buddy DJ Aftermath. I think we're in the same category. So 
aftermath, I'm coming for you, bro. No, I'm dead. No, 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 no. I, I, I just, you know, it really didn't hit me. I was doing something and people were calling me like saying, congrats, bro, congrats. And I'm like, uh, did I win the lottery or like, what's going on, bro? Like, why is everybody calling? And then finally, when I did get some good signal, I, all these texts came in and then I was like, oh, okay. That's what they're, that's what they're, you know what I'm saying? Well, saying congrats. congrats to them. Yeah. And uh, thank you. Yeah. I, Again, it goes back to, you, I did not know that sitting in my kitchen counter, <laughs> getting hammered drunk for four hours on Facebook <laughs> Live would turn into being nominated for an award, wow. you know, a, a, a year and some change later. Like, I, I didn't, I didn't know that I was going to have Miss Aisha <laughs> sitting next to me. You know what I mean? All these great artists that have come through the studio, like, for me, it, it's, it's, as a fan, it's nostalgia. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's like being a fan and like. Hey, come over to the house, <laughs> hang out, and then, then they're like, "Okay," and you're like, "Oh shit!" Well, you know what I mean? They're 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 here at my house. So um, the conjunto puro conjunto awards. Oh. There you go. Thank you, TDK. I appreciate it. That's what the conjunto puro conjunto awards nominated for best awesome. online mobile DJ um, this year. I think it's in December. So they'll be putting out all the voting stuff, and of course, I'll, I'll be pushing it out for the for the viewers to get to get out there and vote. Um, and keeping with Di Marie. Aisha, next week, check this out. Check this out. Oh, awesome. Next week, here in the studio on a Wednesday, <laughs> it'll go back to the same time. And I'll put a post uh, probably later on tomorrow or something, and you guys can share the hell out of it. And I'm going to need you, not that you don't share all of them, but you, you, you'll see right now. You'll see. Aisha's already like, oh, my God. Awesome. She can see the preview over here. Um, my guest next week in the Wacky Wednesday studio is none other than the beautiful, the legendary, Miss Shelly Lattis. Oh. So uh, Bumper's Wacky Wednesday <laughs> has come in a full circle. Wow. You know what I mean? The legendary Shelly Lattis. Is gonna be here, and I I want to I want to say the I want to give you the little rundown on how that went. I got a text message, uh-huh. and it said, "I want to do your show before I retire." Oh, and I was like, <laughs> I, I just saw it. I was like, "Okay, well, who's?" who's and I look at it again, <laughs> and I'm like, "She's it's Shelly Lattice." Mm-hmm. I literally sat. I'm I'm not gonna say I <laughs> cried, but I sat down. And I just like, really? Like, mm-hmm. that's awesome. For me, for me as a fan, like, that's that's amazing. You know what I mean? So, um, the show's going. Yeah. And, it, and it's going to awesome. go. And, and um, you know, I'm going to throw some, I'm going to throw some, uh, I'll throw this out there. I got a deacon of a church coming. Yeah. He's going to be my guest. Oh, so, wow. so, like, you know, don't, uh, don't, you're going to be watching one week and be like, Hey, that's, I've never seen that guy on stage, right? Well, you're not going to church because he does. He goes to the stage every Sunday. But he, you guys don't see him. So that that's coming your way. Um, but definitely tune in next week. Share, share the thing. Um, you know, Aisha, what song r- right now, if there's a song for the fans that you would love for them just to go, I know you're going to say all of them. But the one song right now, what is it? Of oh, mine? Mm-hmm. Me gustas. Me gustas. Go out there, because it's the newest one. Me gustas. No te preocupes. Ah, no te preocupes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Aisha, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I thank had a great you. time. <laughs> thank you for coming. And and again, you know, I, I don't have a script. You know, it's yeah, just, it's it just kind different. of, it's different. It's just conversation. Um, and we can go from left to right field in a in a heartbeat. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, How many people from the audience or the people that come and see your show or how many people thank you for, for keeping La Musica de Hanna <laughs> alive, baby? Thank you, Max. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah. I really do. That 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 means a lot to me right there. Hopefully, you for guys can hear him. You know what I mean? Love, the love that you have for the music. I, I love it. I mean, you, uh, my, my, one of my good friends, Eloy, is here. He could tell you, like, Hombre, ya va todo. <laughs> get away from the stage. Because, like, you know, him and my buddy, Fernie, they've been, they've been doing this for years. For them, it's like, hey, bro, it's, it's, it's just 
it's so just the so. yeah it's just chamacos do chill out like you know what i mean i'm like hey bro that's chato dog like that's and he's like okay dog like, you, you. i get like that too with was with, with artists like you know like with shelly i don't know why i'm like mm. you, get, you get nervous <laughs> or lucky joe i'm like mm. and she's, had, she's had dinner and drinks with shelly yeah they do that tomorrow yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey you're right you could do that tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow i am gonna put or not me one of uh one of my my uh sponsors mm-hmm. um Mr. Adrian Acevedo yeah. Ace Pro- Ace Productions has been he he started from nothing and he's he's putting violets together and and mm-hmm. so if you're an artist uh and you want the the same guy that sells the buildings hit him up his numbers on here <laughs> uh hit him up and he'll get you on a show like we're, we're looking for if you own a venue any you own a bar oh. you own places like that Okay. Hit us up because I'm we're, we're building a team here. He's the man, right? But hit us up and um, going to where what I was talking about. Yeah. The reason that we're doing this on a Tuesday it was awesome. Right? I was like, what? And yes. I was like, <laughs> so so tomorrow, bumpers wacky Wednesday, along with two great dudes who who are again uh, we're trying to get Ace Productions off the floor and, and going. Um, they're not the Hano, but they're probably the biggest spe- in general, like uh, reggaeton, you, you name it across the board. They're, they're on top of the charts. Um, Grupo Firme, we will be at the L.A. Staples Center tomorrow night. At this time, we will be in the Staples Center uh, backstage with Grupo Firme. So... Uh, I'm not promising you. I'm not. I. I. I can't just because of the fact of, uh, yeah. you've never. Ah. You. You've never. Uh, if you've never been around people like that, like there's so many things. It's not like a Tejano concert where like, you could we can reach out and touch them, right? These guys are. They got makeup artists over here. Yeah. They got. You know what I mean? They got all kinds of the, the costumes. Uh, I mean, their outfits and stuff they wear. So, uh, um, there's somebody here that's gonna. They're working really hard. And even if I get five minutes with them, right, um, and, and I can go live, and if it, I can't, which I'm probably going to figure that Staples Center with everybody on their phones, yeah. it's probably going to be really hard to go live. But I'm going to do what I can to record it. Make it happen. <laughs> and, and we're going to take Bumper Swacky Wednesday on the road tomorrow from the L.A. Staples Center VIP with Grupo Firme. Uh, Ace so Productions. Be your first uh, traveling um, mm-hmm. Well, well, no, I've done, I've done, uh, in Beeville, I've done one. Uh, if you've never seen, like, oh, oh, yeah, the, I saw you did, 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 you, uh, did you see when I went to the dealership and I got shocked with a dog collar? No. See? <laughs> that's a, hey, that's why Wacky Wednesday oh is Wacky God. Wednesday. Uh, if, if you guys check me out, uh, check me. Look at that yeah, dude, if, if you follow me on TikTok, it's, I think it's, dude, I don't even know my TikTok. It's Bumper Gomez or Bumper underscore 101 or something like that. Look it up. It's like one of the first TikToks I ever did. I got shocked with a dog oh collar as a, as a dare um, on Wacky Wednesday. So <laughs> thank God you don't do stuff like that because then you'd be over here. Is it. she famous that's in reggaeton that follows her? Oh, you, uh, you really? No. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Wacky Wednesday exclusive right here. It's Bumper. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I was all like at my desk one day and. I saw that Nikki Jam followed me on Instagram, and I was like <laughs> screaming. Nikki, 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 Nikki Jam. And I was like, "Is oh. this for real?" <laughs> Did you message him? And he was like, and, and I looked at it, and it was his thing. So yeah. That is his thing. Like, well, it wasn't his, his his page. That is his thing. Nikki Jam. Yeah. Shoot, man. <laughs> Yeah, I got you. Good. I got you. So, so tomorrow I will be wearing a suit, no tie. I can't do the tie. A suit, and I'll be. I, I'm not wearing them tonight, so you don't, you're not seeing them, and they haven't said anything because <laughs> I'm known for wearing Toms. You know Toms, yeah, the ugly yeah. slip-on shoes. Yeah. The, I got all the colors. I got I got all the colors. Oh, the, wow. They're my favorite shoe to wear. But I guess when men wear them in San Antonio, people give me the look like, is this guy wearing Toms, dude? <laughs> So that's my little, that's, that's Bumper's cool. little niche right now. I, I like, I love Tom's. Um, and uh, I, I'm thinking I'm going to sport them with the suit. I don't know how they look with the suit, not but. Nah, <laughs> no, no hat tomorrow. I got to give my barber some love tomorrow. I got to, <laughs> I got to call him. But you know, we'll definitely awesome. be dressed up. 
Um, well, thank I, you for even um, bringing me on on a Tuesday. Um, you could have said no. Hell did. no. <laughs> hell no. I'm a fan. Of, I'm a. I'm a fan of yours, Aisha. Oh, Honestly, like so you're you, you, you brought me. You brought me my. Yeah. <laughs> You got one? That was, um, you got one? You didn't got one. beautiful work was uh, done by um, Jimencio Castillo. Jimencio. <laughs> he that, made me look beautiful. <laughs> that guy's that guy's awesome. That guy's awesome. Um, thank you for your for thank the you. shirt. You're I, I will wear it on an episode that's you know what? I'm gonna wear it next week. Awesome. <laughs> I'll wear it in the in the Shelly in the Shelly interview. Uh, I'm gonna wear awesome. the I, I, I on the uh, I uh, my Aisha shirt on the Shelly um, interview. Shelly, um, I'm I'm gonna be a special guest in Vegas the haunt, um, at the Shelly Showcase in Vegas. Um, at a, I'm gonna do a couple of songs uh, during the showcase. The she showcase. going to Vegas? Yeah. I'll be there. Uh, Max, is she going by herself? <laughs> she went to Shelly. Florida by herself. <laughs> she went to Arizona. I don't hey, know. Hey, let her go to Vegas, baby. What day will she be? Uh, I'll, I'll be performing on the 20th um, at the Shelly Showcase. on That's a Saturday. And then I'll also be performing on Friday at the Grand, the Grand Baile with Ace Productions. <laughs> Ace Productions will be out there. They'll be out there awesome. with, uh, I think, you. with Mike G and them, right? Yeah, and Junebug oh, okay. and stuff. So, uh, again, folks... Thank you guys for joining uh, Bumper's Wacky Wednesday on a Tuesday. And the beautiful and lovely Aisha. Aisha, I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. I, I don't want this to be the last time you no. come and visit the studio. Maybe the studio will get bigger. I'm, or, now I know where you live. I'm going to be like, oh. There you go. Hey, you wanna, if you want to go to, uh, well, you wanna go to Ikea, <laughs> Let's go. And you can go buy some stuff at Ikea and then come over here and hang out with me and yeah. drink. Um, I saw you had a gyms right here. <laughs> Not the gym, but gyms, the restaurant. Uh, to, we do have a gym. It's in the garage. It doesn't get used very much, but it's in there, as you can tell. No, um, Aisha, for real, honestly, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Thank um, you. You have a lot of fans. Keep doing what you're doing because people want to hear it. Your voice is beautiful. It's unique. And, you know, I can't wait to hear more of it. I can't wait to, to say, you know, maybe eight months from now, a year from now, you're going to be at this huge concert and I'm going to walk in and be like, Hey, that beautiful artist wow. sat right there in my chair and we got to just bullshit for <laughs> a couple of hours. You know what I mean? For me, that that's a lot for me. Like yeah. that, that's, that's, there's no money into this. Yeah. Like my money is being able to just sit across somebody as yourself. You know what I mean? And I, I honestly, I wish you nothing but the best Thank you. and success and, and whatever you do. And your, your regular everyday work, mm -hmm. you being a mother, you being a wife, um, but of course being a Tahano artist, <laughs> right? Of thank course you. being a Tahano artist. So and thank you to everybody. I wouldn't be here doing what I love if it wasn't for you all and my promoters and everybody that supports me. Heck yeah. And my husband. Yeah. <laughs> he left the room. <laughs> yeah, he did. He, he's already talking out there. I can, I can hear him. So again, tune in next week, next Wednesday. Again, my guest, Shelly Lattis, here in the Wacky Wednesday studio next Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. sharp. Um, and then, who knows, you might see me live tomorrow and uh, be like, what the hell is going on? And why is there a lot of people? Um, so again, uh, the journey begins as soon as we get live here. We, we're getting ready to get to, uh, to Los Angeles and get to the show. And uh, I, you know what? I might vlog a little bit tomorrow with these two knuckleheads. I'm with me. <laughs> we might do a little vlogging and, and a little laughter just to get the people, um, show them yeah. how we, how we got there, how we get to LA. So thank you guys for tuning in another edition uh, of bumpers. Wacky Wednesday. Again, do not put your trash out. If your trash goes on Thursdays, <laughs> don't put it out. It's it, today it's is Tuesday. Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. <laughs> Aisha. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in bumpers. Wacky Wednesday. Y'all have a good one.